De TikTok, se me olvidó el TikTok. City Life. Chat, we did it. I think. I think we live everywhere. I believe we live everywhere. Twisted, baila, baila, get the party people in here, bro. They like it when you dance. Wait, what? Where's my destiny? Who closed my destiny? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. to start. He's a smooth operator. Chat, levantate. Party's getting started. Favorite streamer going live. What's your favorite character? Every day we switch characters, so we played Titan. We kinda played Hunter. So it's your favorite character now. See? So Warlock Day. Should be a good day. Should be a fun day. Party people, what's going on? I'm here, look, I'm here. I showed up. And don't tell me my camera's not working. Close your eyes, you might see something you're not supposed to see. Damn it, I'm maxed out. Oh, this is trash. Chat, wait, what is reset? New content, new stuff. Look, the camera is working. Working? I think it's working. Chat, levanta the thing. Shout out to all the people with notifications on. What's going on? Good morning. How y'all doing? Johnny, levanta the What's going on, dog? How you doing? Damn, bro, I banned a bunch of people. Is already back to banning a bunch of people? All right. That's crazy. I did a full unban recently. Now we got a full ban everybody all over again. Hold on. Where's the, where's the ban button? Smooth operator chat. There you go. That's good. I'll learn how to use that more often just to give you a chance. I normally just do the hammer. Smooth operator. What the hell? You know you can run crouching. What the hell, what the hell was that, bro? I was just running crouched. How did I just do that? I bet you I could never do that again. I was crouched, bent over, and running. I'm gonna clip that. How the hell did I... Anyways, I might be seeing things. TikTok, what's going on? You a developer? Me? Like a Destiny 2 developer? Hell no. What's going on? How you doing? Good morning. Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey, fall. Oh, well, what's going on? Four out of five, what? What grenade launcher? What, talk, what grenade launcher are we talking about here? Go ahead and turn on song request for you ladies. No, no developer here. Luciano, levantate. What's going on? How you doing? I have to move this out the way. And then you come over here. You go back over here. All these monitors and I still need space. Alrighty, song request is on. If you want to do song requests, go right ahead. The new strand one. So we're talking about trials. That one. Trials. Y'all here playing trials for a grenade launcher? That's crazy. You're playing a PVE game. Hi. Looking for PVE loot. I remember. Oh, there's a new new one. Barter is warranted. Wait a minute. I don't know what. Well, wait, wait a minute. Iron Banner. I mean, I just I just woke up, bro. Reset is for me right now. 
This is recent for me. I don't even know what's going on. What do you mean, new iron banner grenade launcher? You gonna play for me? I'll give you my account. <laughs> I'm a PvP slave. I'm not welcome in there, so you know I don't go there. They don't want me in there. When does the new season drop? Well, there's a new update on the 9th, which is probably the one you really want, but the new season happens in exactly 62 days and 12 hours. 62 days and 12 horas. But there's an update in a couple of days. I believe it is the 9th, next reset. We have a new game mode. Um, it's like horde mode. And uh, definitely, you know, recommend jumping on before the new season to kind of get like back into the game get looted recluse is gonna be in there uh mountaintop is gonna be in there a lot of people talk about edge of transit i'm not i don't, I don't really you know that doesn't really ring too many bells for me but people get hyped when they hear edge transit it was like a supposedly hard-hitting grenade launcher so you can kind of get looted up for the next season instead of like you know jumping in next season and being like oh what the hell do i do at least you kind of get figured out a little bit Laura, what are we talking about? The delayed it to the thirtieth? What was was being delayed? I slept rough last night. A new strand grenade launcher from Iron Banner. What's the name? Let me look it up on the website if they have it. If they have it in the lip. Dave, what's going on? Farmer, how you doing? Johnny, que lo que está pasando? Straight up, I see you. I don't banana. Who's gonna play for me? Cinema infamy. What's going on? I miss you, D one days. Uh, the videos are still up. You can always watch them. Emmy for life. I see you. How you doing? Darius, rip the dream. I love you. Bad man, what's going on? Legal, what's up? I did a full ban chat. We unbanned everybody. Everybody has been banned. They unbanned now. But we already banned, we already banned one person. We already turned down a dude for eight hours. Anyways, uh, Nightbot, what's going on? Nightbot in the building. Johnny Walker, I see you straight up. Ellie to fly, fall over. No te llorando, siempre llorando como la niña. Twins, hi, hi, hi. PS4, what's going on? JMT Twins, what? Is that a tooth? Is that a. I, I don't know what that is. Just somebody, I guess, something. I don't know what there's something waving at me. I'm trying to figure out what it is, and I think it has a purple hat on. Yep, the song just said yep. If you're on Twitch, he does have a purple hat. PS4, same to you, same to you. Hopefully everything is good. Well, I'm gonna be checking out the stream in a bit. I know some of you guys already checked it out, but I definitely um you know, my day kind of just started. My day kind of just started. What's the best loot to go for if I jump back on? Um, I would worry about your light level first. And like I was just talking about on the 9th, there's a new update bringing new weapons. that are supposed to be really, really good weapons. So if you haven't been playing the game, definitely recommend playing and getting those weapons instead of worrying about old weapons because most likely those new weapons are going to be no, maybe not like the best in the game, but a lot better than most for and giving us a reason to go get them. So if you're looking for good stuff, get ready in a couple days and uh there'll be some good loot to go get. Chris, thank you for the follow. What's going on? Yeah, let me actually do that real quick. I'll probably skip through it. We'll skip through it really quickly. Um I know a lot of you guys probably checked out the stream, but I really haven't checked out the stream, so I want to check it out real quick. Um Try to skip a lot of the boring stuff, the introduction, the filler, the all that stuff, but we'll see. So go to Bungie. Not he type bun the hell? That's not he type Bungie. Mauricio, ¿qué tú estás diciendo? ¿Qué tú estás hablando? ¿Qué dice eso? Past broadcast, uh, broadcast. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead. Somebody's joining me. I'm going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit busy. I don't know if you really want to join me. Definitely going to be checking this thing out real quick. This is today's stream. I pause the music. Um, turn this up. When does it start? Look at that. 20 minutes failure. This guy is back. Over the course of Onslaught, uh, there's many ways with all of the three developer lives. Third one, final one, right? This is it. No more. All the information is going to be here. Again, chat. I haven't seen it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they talked about. I know y'all talking about grenade launchers and all this Hello, stuff. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's good to see y'all. Welcome to good our third too, of three developer live streams to talk about all the cool stuff coming up with Destiny 2 Into the Light. Uh, my name's Andy. I work on the social media team here at Bungie, and we've got an awesome set of, of topics to go ahead and cover today. But first things first, we want to win it. wanted to go ahead and remind you guys of one clarification we made. For starters, all of the weapons in the Brave Arsenal will now be releasing on April 30th. So Our just wolf. as a quick reminder, all of that weapon, all those weapons will be available for you to farm over the course of Onslaught. Uh, and there's then, many ways with which you can go about it. For starters, obviously, you can go ahead and attune yourself to a weapon. So whether you want to go ahead and grab that recluse that you've had your eye on for so long, you've got the opportunity to go ahead and do that uh, over the course of Onslaught. Uh, also, there's going to be the chest up by Shax as well, so you can go ahead and farm some additional rolls there. But worry not, you'll have plenty of chances to dive in, grab the weapons you want, whether it be through our site's quest lines or otherwise, uh, those opportunities will be wide open and available. But we have a whole new set of topics to discuss today, uh, including some reprise exotic missions, a look at the PvP map pack, and a couple more details at the end that we'll go ahead and share with you in PvP just a PvP for the guy that doesn't uh, but play it, PvP. As usual, it won't just be me talking through it. So let's go ahead and tell you about the wonderful folks I have here just to my left, some incredible developers here at Bungie. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the gentleman here to my left, friend of the show, one and only Mr. Tom Farnsworth, senior design lead here at Bungie. Tom, welcome back. On, and these individuals, like everybody else here. Great stuff. Hey, thanks for having me. Activity design uh, for, uh, in addition to like we mentioned some awesome reprise exotic missions including the whisper and zero hour which will both uh, feature pardon me craftable versions of each weapon but let's go ahead and start at the top with the whisper uh, we've had a chance to go ahead and kind of pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes a little bit uh, let's go ahead and start from the very top uh, Rob you were there when it all started why did Bungie make the whisper to begin with well I think in the first few months of D2 I want to say like the first three to five months we felt like there weren't enough secrets in the game. It felt like the game was pretty well known, mm -hmm. you know, and, and kind of like discovered. Mm -hmm. And it just needed some big secret to be found by the players. And we thought that that would excite uh, our community quite a bit. Like it would, it would just go over really well. We, we hoped it would at least. Yeah. And we had all this nostalgia for the Vault of Glass and Black Spindle. I mean, one day we were just sitting in a conference room and we we're like, what if we just made another Black Spindle mission, but we made it a lot bigger, Yeah. right? Yeah. Speaking of, uh, we've got here on screen uh, kind of some, if we can call it as such, yeah. original concept art, uh -huh. you'd say, for the Whisper? Yeah, it's concept art. Yeah, <laughs> could you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Uh, so, well, that's actually the very first whiteboard drawing when we got all excited and we ran and found a conference room and we started, you know, drawing this? what this could do, yeah. what we would want to build. And really, this kind of shows some of the magic uh, formula, you know, like we, we had a, a contract, really, that we, we called it a contract, and <laughs> you can pass a test, right? Yeah. Your movement, your mind, your... We'll see the new yeah. stuff. Is there's a little crack, and then the path continues. Yeah. And, you know, that's the red herring. And so we thought... Talk about well, old mission. Rather than lead players by right? the nose and have a bunch of narrative and, and make it really obvious what you're supposed to do, yeah. What if they get into this mysterious place and they don't know what to do? Mm -hmm. And when they go down the path that they think is right, it's not. Yeah. You know, and they go blazing right past the actual opening. Yeah. And so we knew that that, or we, we were pretty confident that that was going to appeal to the hardcore players because once they learned the path, right. they could then bring their friends in and show them, and then we would have the videos, you yeah. know, with the walkthroughs, and it, it would just appeal to. Yeah. to As they let their friends people. go first, that mm -hmm. first time to watch yeah. them fall off the yeah, edge yeah. helplessly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> also, too, is you know to kind of focus a little bit more on the art direction as well. Uh, I th we wanted this like intense yeah, this mystery vibe, right? The mystery feeling of dread. The end of sentence, you know. <laughs> yeah. This kind of very iconic, I guess. I you end up going down the trap, and you, you get punished for it. And yeah. when you get out, you end up back in the room. I haven't done this and one in a while, to be and honest. Again, and there's all these different ways that you try to find your way out of this room. Right. So the t and I just wait. I found it. They just again yeah. uses to get. 
uh, a theme yep. or a vibe oh, to right, be we consistent. Have, we're going to go ahead also too and start to jump in the activity so we can see this uh, this vibe up close and personal as well. But uh, here we are. We're we're back in the whisper as well. Uh, Somebody really hit the camera off the top. Um, <clears throat> Willie, when it comes to you know bringing these encounters forward, bringing them to the modern era of Destiny, what were some of the bigger challenges that you'd say you have to overcome in order to make sure that they were fitting for today's sandbox? Yeah, so sandbox-wise, players nowadays pack a lot more power than they did before. Uh, people can clear entire rooms of ads from these activities back when uh, they were in their original state, Yeah, um, just like extremely quickly. So we had to beef up the number of combatants that are in these encounters, and uh, later on I might talk more about uh, additional tuning that I've done on them. Totally, yeah, yeah, we can come back to that in a second, but uh, I think also too, really quickly, you know, back in the day, there was a, a very bespoke way of getting into the Whisper. You had yeah. to kind of hang out on IO, wait for this mysterious portal to come up, yep. um, but we've, we've made some changes to that as well, I think you were mentioning before we hopped on the air. Oh yeah, I mean, I was a victim of it, right? We had the public event with the RNG and you right. had to wait for the right one, and you know, yeah. one, one time I tried to take a coworker through on a Saturday, and yeah. we spent like seven hours just yeah. trying to get a few runs because of, because of the public event. And, right. And that, we just had to change that, right? Mm. And the team was excited about having a new, you know, benefactor, a new character that you you go and talk to. So you'll be talking to Eris Morn. Eris Morn is going to tell you some really cool stuff. I don't want to give it away. Smart. Yeah. But you know, you're not going to have to deal with the, the frustrating uh, trigger to get in anymore. Excellent. Mm -hmm. oh, that's always good to hear. Giving a chance, especially you know, if people are going well, to come, come back in here multiple times as yeah. they kind of build up their their craftable exotics. Obviously, a pretty key component. Uh, also, too, is you know I think it's it's worth mentioning that that this is this has undergone more changes than just the combat landscape. Yeah. Uh, for the veteran players who are coming in here, folks like myself that have mm -hmm. maybe kind of had a lot of this committed to memory, um, how have you gone ahead and made sure that it's fresh for those veteran guardians out there? Yeah. Well, the 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 goal was, how is this going to be exactly what you just said, right? Like if I if I've played this 10, 15, 20 times, I've guided people through, maybe I've I've made a video about how to get through here. Well, how's it going to speak to me, right? Like, right. what's going to be cool for me to go in and do it again? And, and that was Dave. the goal that the team had. And it, when we knew we were going to do this, I made my own Prime. list, right? Yeah. Like, I was like, we're going to change this, we're going to move 16. that, we're going to... And I was really excited about it. So, yeah. Tom, so Tom was in this meeting. So we, I show up, and there's like, you know, 15, 20 people. Mm -hmm. And they presented this whole plan. And I had my list all ready to go, and I was going to wait. I was going to listen to all the way bigger and way cooler than anything that I'd come up with. Yeah. It was just so neat to see like a fresh take on it. So if you think you know where the chests are, if you think you know where all the secrets are, if you think you know where all the surprises are, yeah. you don't because they're different. All those old guides and all the old walkthroughs, they're going to have to be remade. Even though I'll just give one away, when you first get in, there's that first secret chest room on the right. Right. The anomaly has taken care of that. It's not there anymore. Anomaly has yeah. taken care of it. So more surprises to the to the Steam subscribe. guide writers, to the game facts writers, to mm. the folks making their YouTube videos. A revision two is going to be yeah, in order sometime the soon. Oh, yeah. By the sounds of it. Yeah. That's really exciting. That is not. Uh, the also, too, is is um, you know, are there any um, other changes confused. that you guys are particularly excited about when it comes to the whisper? We're going to move on to zero gifted. hour here in a little bit, thank but you, thank um, you. you know, before we conclude our journey here, uh, Willie, actually. Numbers? On your side, are there any changes in particular that you're I'm excited confused. about with this this updated version? I'm excited about the way that the boss fight has changed yeah. for this activity. Thank you, Dave. All right. Well, we'll leave that to folks to go ahead and discover on their own uh, when it comes so to the launch day of, of the Whisper. But I haven't done this mission in a long time, and that's because they took it out the game. Is that why? And now they're bringing it back. Is that what's happening? But they're bringing it back differently. I'm a little slow. I'm an ESO student. My English is not my first language. That was happening? Yes. What the hell? Motorcycle content? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, this is a first look uh, for the folks out there who are, are looking to go ahead and make sure that they, they're ready on day one to go ahead and add another craftable <laughs> exotic into their, their collection. Uh, you, obviously, the Whisper is going to be there for you, but we don't want to spoil all of it. You'll have it in your hands soon enough. Uh, and also, some folks out there have already had a chance to play it, so we don't want to go ahead and uncover too many of the mysteries. <laughs> uh, up next, we've also got, obviously, another iconic one, Zero Hour. Uh, let's start from the top. Can you explain, uh, Rob, the concept behind Trevor? You've obviously got an homage to him on your. I have my, I have my shirt. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a <laughs> yeah, little bit about what this original concept was? Uh, so, so Trevor was really inspired by this. There's this Japanese game show, and 
the contestants that they can try to yeah. yeah so we had this thing that we called the hazard for a long time the hazard is going to get you right and it's going to come down at you and on the left you can see the original whiteboard drawing of what this could look like <laughs> And there you see the hill with the slots. Yeah. We basically lifted off of Takeshi's castle. Yeah. And then that evolved into what we eventually made as a maze. Yeah. Right. And then there's the very first drawing of Trevor. And on the right, you can see a concept art by one of our artists named Fan Gao. Mm-hmm. Hey, and when I looked at it, it had a bit of a vacuum cleaner look. Hey, you know, it didn't you. quite see, the right nail sound. the fear. Sure. You know, which, wrong with this which program? we might talk about in a second here. Oh, yeah. It does what it so wants. then on the far right, you can see the centipede legs and the light and the, the final revision. That's pretty close to how Trevor ended up. Yeah, yeah it definitely it, it feels terrifyingly familiar in some ways, we'll say. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, and, I, you know, kind of while we're on difficult battles in the universe, whether it's against our fellow guardian or, or the many foes that set foot inside the solar system, uh, when it comes to Trevor in particular, it elicits a very primal, sincere fear. How did you guys kind of elicit that from players who have obviously conquered so much? Well, I think there's this like satisfaction from scaring people that's inherent in everybody. Like yeah. we've all scared somebody. I think at some point it's just super fun, right? Yep. So, what could what could we do in Destiny to actually make people feel fear? And, and the team was super excited about how to try to tackle that problem because you're right, right? Like guardians can just jump away and we kill everything and we're just uh, gods. Invisible and god killers. Yeah, exactly. To do it, yeah. So how do you how do you scare uh, our players in the game, right? So, the first step was drop you in a maze. Yeah. Uh, there's something in there that you cannot kill. You can't jump mm -hmm. up because the ceiling is just above your, your head, right? Yeah. So those were the first three things. This thing is faster than you. Yeah. So you know you're in there with something that you can't kill that can go faster than you. And then, of course, we did the uh, centipede bottom, yeah. which I have this particular phobia of centipedes. like. The fact that you took something that is such a fear <laughs> and me, put it yeah. front and center, honestly, like it's yeah. commendable. I watched this video like a week ago where this this dude takes a giant centipede and lets it bite him on the arm. Why would you do that to your... I don't know. I almost passed out like watching this. <laughs> so I, t uh, centipedes terrify me. And so I thought the bottom of this thing just has to be sideways centipede legs that are made out of metal and they just grind you up when it catches you. Mm -hmm. And then the final piece of the, um, the formula for this thing really was to put a super bright light on it that would shine as a shadow caster across your, like past your body so you can see your own shadow as you're trying to get away. Yeah. And uh, honestly, like a lot of it was inspired by the anxiety that I feel and, and I think folks on the team also felt when we talked about like the trope of a subway that's coming around the corner. Right. Right. So you just, see that it's always, finite yeah. just clock running out it's in front coming. of you. It's coming. Yep. Yeah. You see the light coming and then you see the thing. Yeah. And so that really helped uh, us figure out how to make yeah. this thing as, as freaky as this possible. Time, no Indiana Jones laying down on the tracks hoping for the best here. Yeah, no. Not a chance, yeah, no. no. <laughs> Trevor's going to chew you up, honestly. Uh, so also, we're, we found ourselves now. We're in the beginning stages here of the Whisper we can see on screen. Um, Willie, we kind of touched on this briefly over the course of, uh, of the Whisper, uh, but can you tell us a little bit about what it was like sort of reinventing these combat spaces and these encounters for Guardians in a modern sandbox, especially those that are going to have the brave arsenal available to them? Yeah, so uh, just now you saw a brig in this encounter, uh, which there wasn't one before. Um, I think there's, there's the desire to keep the, the soul of the activity, which is that, oh, there's time pressure um, on me to finish this activity quickly, and also I'm uh, going up against powerful enemies that are trying to stop me from doing that. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to make sure that the combat still felt challenging, even in today's sandbox, so we added some new combatants yeah. to the brig. Um, and we also just increased the number of combatants, period, yeah. um, so that players had more to do with their <laughs> more diverse and deadly tools. Yeah. <clears throat> Guardians have plenty of those available to them. Uh, when you were developing these combat spaces as, as well, were there any moments where you really thought to yourself, like, all right, this is it. Like, we've really centered in on what was great about this mission originally, but this is going to be appropriately challenging for today's Guardians. Yeah, I think the... You feel that strong. When we, when we play tested it and, uh, you know, we had everybody really load up with, meh. Uh, their, like, new maneuverability <laughs> tools, their swords, their grapples, <laughs> uh, to go through the activity, and then we were expecting that, like, oh, people are going to breeze through this, like, it's not Nothing, like the original 20 minute timer has to uh, become something else but really all of that translated over pretty well like the individual sections are uh, self-contained enough that like you can't 
uh, bypass too many things by just using one new tool. Sure. Um, the whole thing sort of still felt like zero hour, yeah. even with your new toolbox. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Even even with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump forward here a little bit as well, using our dev tools to take a look at Trevor as well. So for the folks out there that want to reinstill that fear in themselves, now's a brief chance to check it out. Uh, also too, is we're in a world where, you know, there's strand grapples, there's shatter skating. Uh, when it came to kind of redesigning these activities or even making, I guess, alterations more appropriately on these activities, um, you know, with one like Trevor, for example, what was the challenge that you kind of had to overcome with those new movement tools in addition to the combat tools that players have available to them? Yeah, I guess uh, philosophically, I want to make sure that if people were specking into being highly maneuverable, then I honored that choice and say, yeah, you're highly maneuverable. Like maybe you're in this hallway with Trevor. Uh, I don't want to be ground up by these centipede legs, <laughs> so I'm going to sword skate through this so that I can have a little bit of speed on Trevor. Um, but like, you know, you still can't invalidate the challenge entirely. Trevor will still kill you if you mistime those. Mm. So they're just like different expressions of how you want to tackle these challenges, and none of those expressions like fully throw these challenges out the window. Yeah, actually something too that I'm seeing pop up in chat here uh, is the mention of the timer. So for starters, there's also, this is normal difficulty yeah. in social legend, is that right? Uh, yeah, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about like any updates to the timers in these missions as well? So, uh, and Willie, feel free to have him correct me if I'm wrong, but on normal, it's 40 minutes because we want to give players a little bit extra time, especially sure. if you're new, you want this to be accessible, everyone get in there and get the, 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 the experience. But a lot of our kind of like, uh, like quests, content, and secrets. That thing that is gonna get you. Version, you ain't see that robot? We're gonna time. come by trash. Yes. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Well, Can imagine being you, stuck Jeff. and getting uh, eaten by that. In <laughs> addition to you know these these other updates <laughs> you've made, are there anything or any any changes you've made in particular by? that you're excited we'll about? We'll push that one of you guys in there. About it here, or is it just a, <laughs> you want players to dive in and find out for themselves? I have an idea. Yeah. The so the whole secret setup for Zero Hour is different. Um, so, you know, previously we had key cards, those have been replaced by another secret system that you'll just have to find out more about for Perfect. yourself. <laughs> and you know, I'm also proud of the boss fight in this That's activity. right, yeah, we'll hold that one close to the vest. Players will have a chance mm -hmm. to see that on their own and see Willie's hard work uh, in person very soon. Uh, now, as we mentioned at the top of the show as well, there's going to be craftable versions of these exotics and we're going to check them out. But there was one more example uh, that I wanted to ask you about, Rob, in particular. Uh, there was some discussion briefly about the acronym that is Trevor. Can you tell us what that stands for? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, but yeah. I, had to, I had to open my phone because it's like impossible to remember that. <laughs> it, we got we all have our yeah. notes. Yeah, it's part of the game. <clears throat> so, yeah. So early on, the team, we re we just realized we had to figure out an acronym for this because we loved the name Trevor because it was paradoxical. Mm -hmm. I went to school with a kid named Trevor who was the nicest kid in the entire school, <laughs> just nice to everybody to yeah. a fault, right? So I always thought like Trevor is just the nicest name, and so paradoxically, here's this evil thing named Trevor, and we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> But Sorry. once we alphanumericized, is that a word? Yeah. Once we made that, we had to come up with the acronym. So the one that I had was Tracking Robotic Three-Vectored Reducer. Because <laughs> it reduces, right, Tom? It's like it reduces you, yeah. Uh, but that was our internal acronym. Yeah. And so when we went to GuardianCon and did, we did like a, a fly-through or like a walk-through. Yeah. Um, and so we, uh, the community team uh, thought that we should let the fans of GuardianCon yeah. decide what the actual acronym for Trevor was. And so we had like the five different examples and my tracking robotic was in there. Oh right? yeah. That's one of the things, I was like, please pick <clears throat> mine, please pick mine. Yeah. And so at the end, <clears throat> what they decided on, and they decided by loud applause, and, and it was like very obvious yeah. that this is what they the wanted. The committee had Oh yeah, it's like very obvious. Yeah. What they decided on was Tame Relaxed Triple Vac Roommate. <laughs> so that's the official name for Trevor. That's it, it's codified. Acronym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... yeah. Thank you very much to the, den the, to the denizens of GCX. Thank you very much for your hard work and letting us know uh, exactly what yeah. Trevor should be called. That's, that's really cool. I wish I'd been there for that. Uh, okay, now we're okay, taking next. a quick look uh, at the craftable exotics as well. We're gonna go ahead and start with Whisper of the Worm. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about what, you know, players who are kind of go gonna go ahead and facilitate their own play style or wanna build a Whisper all to their own, what are they gonna have to look forward to with all this? Yeah, even before we get into the, the crafting, like, I, like, I've got my notes here from Chris Proctor, so. You're the man himself? These yeah, weapons haven't really been that crazy. And all these exotics they bring back like this, I don't know, like, maybe one is really useful? And of outbreak, and 
and you know whisper it's about it's a hard hitting precision weapon where you're in yeah. the backfield like and if you land your crits you're rewarded and you can sustain a ton of damage on a, on a boss or enemies with a large critical area ogres will be felled o ogres will be felled the servitors <laughs> oh don't say the chance yeah <laughs> um and then with outbreak it's the fantasy is all about spreading this the plague of, of siva nanites certainly can um, escape. and we'll be able to get to that in a uh, yes yeah. On Whisper, and both the perks on Whisper and Outbreak are things that, by engaging in our secrets week over week, and in both of these exotic missions, uh, you'll be able to unlock them. Um, she'll give you more shots so and light in action, which is for more forgiving reloads. So I think from That's right. 18 uh, in reserve to 24 in reserve. We'll have even the pool a little bit about some of the perks and updates that players will have available to them with uh, their options to, uh, to craft Outbreak Perfected. Yep, and so in addition to barrels and mags, it has. Uh, it's, it's classic outlaw perk is back, so you get your fast reloads on final blows, which works which really well. About without break, it's all about also landing precision hits to to to, to either uh, spawn nanites or to kill enemies and spawn nanites and spread that Siva energy yeah, around. Spread the plague. Spread the plague. Um, and then the, the second one though that we've at, we're added here is rapid hit, which plays right into that. So like you, you land your precision shots, you get more stability, you get faster reloads. Uh, then another new one is rewind, uh, re, re, uh, rewind rounds. It's hard for me to say. Fast, yeah. yeah, try it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, which refills your reserves from uh, it, it, to minimize your reload. So like if you're hitting shots, you're just going to keep getting more ammo, which yeah. is really like, kind of interesting. Uh, perpetual Did motion machine. Did he just no, say rapid hit yeah, and you want, yeah, you want the reloads, or you just want to keep shooting. Yeah. Um, Did he really just recommend like outlaw and rapid hit earlier, or just? Said. And then there's also a head seeker, which I think maybe for PvP or for certain for certain play styles where like you're, you're less you know focused on your critical shots, that's that's something to think about as well. Right. Um, in terms of catalysts, um, if you already have them, yeah. you're golden. You can craft those. If you don't, you play the legend version of Whisper and Zero Hour, and you have a chance to get them. Very cool. So that's still in there. And then as I mentioned, for unlocking these these new intrinsic perks that you can slot in, yeah. it'll be like a three week. Uh, mini quest line that rolls into the secrets for each of these and whisper is coming at launch with into light exciting and zero hour is coming in may perfect okay so yeah. be a chance to go ahead and sink your teeth into zero hour for a while before you go ahead and change your attention and start unlocking another another uh, one of the, the storied exotics of old yeah. uh, also it's worth mentioning that there are more than just the craftable weapons available as rewards in these missions there's some tried and true ships now we were talking a little bit about this earlier but as someone who still to this day wears a thousand wings you and me yeah, yeah like yeah. We, we we know the feeling of getting that ship and finally having that i was there moment uh the ships are making a return as well isn't that correct yeah okay so for for both whisper and for zero hour mm -hmm. um they're they're coming back is it the exact same ship or are there going to be changes on them no these are actually new assets right they're, they're new ships so yeah. they won't be the same they won't they won't sit in the same spot in your inventory mm. and they are updated to look really cool and new i think they're exciting especially the we took the old scrap drifter ship that yeah. was <clears throat> i think uh not really loved particularly it? by the community because <laughs> yeah. it was it was literally Probably scrapped not. together from spare parts to right. get built, and so we did a really nice pass on that. So it um, it's inspired by the look of Outbreak Perfected, and I, I think it looks great. I think the community is going to love it. Yeah. And then we have the Whisper Ship, a Thousand <laughs> Wings. Uh, it's got a new design, uh, so you'll still have your old Thousand Wings, mm -hmm. and. If you have that equipped, players are going to know that you're OG and that mm -hmm. you got it back in the day. Oh, yeah. And the new one is going to look like the new one, so there won't be any mistaking the old one for the new one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So for the players who want to go ahead and continue to build up their collections, yeah. there's a chance to go ahead and dive back in. Yeah. Maybe they weren't there originally, but they yeah. want to go ahead and join the Thousand Wings Club to a degree. Reskin ships yeah. So there'll be a chance to go ahead and unlock those, uh, unlock those as well. Um, Excellent. Well, I think we are actually about at the point of the show. We're going to go ahead and get ready to rotate over to the PvP map pack. But for starters, let's go Yay! ahead and make sure we thank our PvP! incredible PvP playtesters here, uh, going ahead and showing off the missions for us. Ashley, Peyton, and Michael, uh, thank you all so much. Uh, very much. Uh, there we go. We're getting PvP! some waves from the backstage. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for the time. And of course, uh, Willie, I think this is unfortunately the time. Now we bid you adieu to go ahead and transition into thank the uh, the PvP Thanks map. For having me. See you soon. Awesome, Willie. Thank you so much. All right, we are now uh, joined by another member of the Bungie development team, a staff artist here who has helped made many of the PPP maps that you've also known and loved, the one and only Mr. Cooley Callahan. 
Mr. Cooley, who? welcome to the show, man. Yeah, how's it He's going? Cool. <clears throat> Good to see you. Thanks Cooley for having me. Absolutely, it's been so long. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's been a Wait, minute. Look what? at us, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, full circle. Yeah. Now uh, we were talking a little bit before the show about Cooley. I'm going to go ahead and Cooley, do us all a see? favor and put Cooley on the spot to a degree. Rob, we were talking <laughs> a bit about Cooley's history. We were. Here. Can you tell us a little bit about the man sitting just to your left, the contributions he's made to the PVP pantheon? Yeah, well, one of the things Mr. that was really important Mr. for us Cooley. was to make sure that the strike team was stacked, that we had the best designers on the strike team. Mm -hmm. And so Cooley is certainly one of those. He's a six-year veteran of the PvP team who shipped over 11 maps. Yeah. A lot of them are fan favorites, and I'm not going to steal any more Cooley's thunder. I'll just let him talk <laughs> yeah. about some of that. Yeah, it's uh, not, not everyone's a banger. I mean, there's definitely some maps <laughs> that people would want some words with me. Uh, but I <laughs> We'll think, save that for later, but what, what are yeah, some of the bangers? Come, come find me. Uh, it's, um, I think, you know, uh, Burning Shrine, yeah. uh, which is now Burnout, you know, it's such a classic map. It's um, pictures. Trial's favorite. Any and pictures? then Midtown is another map that turned out really well. Pictures, we bro, countdown, but, horrible um, names. You know, I was just chatting with another Destiny fan at the dog park the other day, talking about how well that map supports all of the different uh, engagement ranges, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely something that we try to do. We try to create places for players to use their their favorite tools. Yeah. Now with the the maps, we're going to be looking at three of them today with kind of a, a primary focus on, you were mentioning earlier, I think it was the 3v3 kind of competitive side of things was sort of the focus for these maps. Absolutely. Yeah. I think early on, um, a lot of the direction that we got was we wanted to bolster that competitive uh, gameplay experience um, with new maps, tweaks to the modifiers of some of the modes. And so we, in our play testing, really focused on the competitive playlist and um, really centered and put those uh, experiences at the forefront. Um, and then, you know, all Destiny maps, you know, can, can suit a variety of modes, so we also made sure they worked elsewhere. But for the most part, yeah. we really did want to provide um, new experiences and just breathe a little bit of new life into the higher, yeah. maybe a little bit sweatier uh, <laughs> gameplay. So weird how you yeah. were staring directly at me when you said sweaty, but that's <laughs> fine. Uh, it's pretty, we'll, we'll let it go for now. Uh, you know, actually uh, briefly too on that topic before we kind of go into the guided tour of these maps, mm -hmm. um, you know, having had so much time to sort of be a part of building the, the, you know, the tapestry that so much of our PVP happens on, what were some of the key lessons that you've kind of taken away from having built those maps and seen them go through everything from trials to quick play and-, and Queen. And then so, and then balancing that with making sure players understand where you know players that's you know in place places. Certainly. Um, so we, we really, um, it's, a, it's a little bit of back and forth. We'll we'll open it up. We'll try some things. Yeah. Um, especially this time around, we we tried some stuff and and got into the weeds a little bit. Yeah. But um, I think that's all part of the discovery process of finding of finding the gameplay that we want to create. And so, we go a little further, maybe too far in the in the openness and Swiss cheese, and then. Um, we bring it back and, and make it a little bit more focused and really dial in the, the engagements that we want. That's awesome. I mean, speaking of getting in the weeds, there's, there's no time like the present. Uh, shall, yeah. shall we go ahead and dive on in? Absolutely. Excellent. Cool. Diving on in. Let's see what uh, they're doing. All right, we got the first of three maps to go ahead and show off. This is the, uh, we, have, we have one on Europa, one on Neomuna, and then one on one of the pyramid ships in Essence, I believe is That's the right. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the first one. This is here on Europa. Uh, Cooley, can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here today or where we are? Yes, so this map is called Eventide Labs, and this is a long forgotten human colony research outpost on Europa. Five um, minutes left. And uh, it, it just so happens that Aramis has chosen this location as a refueling station for her catch. So here you'll see, um, you know, perched just above the horizon is her catch in the, in the, in the sky box with, you know, it's getting it hooked up and um, we have a servitor over here that's um, hooked up to the catch to provide that ether that the elixir need. Um, and so we really wanted to situate the maps in the universe. Theater and, mode! You know, draw on that deep Destiny lore. Theater mode for uh, Destiny 2. But yeah, we definitely have um, a presence of Fallen here set amongst the um, abandoned human, uh, you know, ice encrusted structures of the past, which has been a really fun um, environment to work on. We definitely want to bring in as many new palettes as possible because you know there's so much great um, environment art content. The palettes are, are really cool, and we want to we want to use those in in PvP wherever we can. Just to you know, the different palettes have different character that yeah. leads to different gameplay spaces. 
Uh, also, you know, when it comes to kind of finding these maps of place in the world, Rob, uh, you know, I've been kind of looking at through these through an artistic lens. Uh, what were some of the challenges or even kind of exciting opportunities potentially of finding, you know, new places for these maps to live in the more modern era of destiny that we've been experiencing more recently? Well, we really wanted to make sure that when we do an update like this, you know, it's, it's a major refresh to the, to the map rotator, right? Like we were adding quite a bit of variety here. We wanted to make sure that we had three distinctly different places and places that players haven't seen a bunch of times. So right. fortunately we had these uh, available to us and I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at it again now. I mean, I, I'm not getting sick of looking at this. The team does such a good job. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this is, I mean, one of the cool things is just how purposeful honest. everything feels in the it world. It really does you know, look yeah. Our team always pushes it so far where it really feels like you're walking into a truly recently defunct, mm -hmm. you know, human colony or whatever the case may be. Yeah, and the frozen world of Europa, I mean, they all they all have their advantages for, for PvP, but uh, the the frozen ice walls of Europa are just perfect for yeah. multiplayer, and I'm sure Cooley's gonna talk about this a bunch. Yeah, actually, also to Cooley, if you wouldn't yeah. mind, uh, you know, I, as, as people who have heard they me have talk options. too much about they have close you range, know, far Dead range, Man's Tale and I get along areas a lot. where you can uh, just straight line. Can you tell us a little bit maybe about some of the sight lines or opportunities Surprise that all have to maybe rack up nice, some additional kills as I dive into this map the first time? Totally, totally. If, if long range is your thing, um, this spot out here is definitely you see, the place like, for you. He's gonna touch on that, isn't he? There's one spawn that happens uh, for uh, one team over by C and then one over by A. And so in these competitive modes, if you've got an objective out here, this sight line is really important to lock down. So this is the like, this is a spot where you're going to have two teams poking uh, and peeking each other um, and then, you know, rushing over here to try to get to this, this zone and lock it down. And yeah. um, if you're you know, rolling with that, that long range kit, you can hang back and sort of lock down this airspace here so that you can provide cover and, and maybe support your team from being uh, harassed down on this point. God, this and then fantastic. we also have sort of this, uh, the sight line in the middle, which will be pretty fun. It's definitely gonna be a race to- uh, Not anymore, uh, for each I used player, to. Uh, is what got me to, to this uh, game, but Get to this spot and, and lock down the, this sort of uh, portal here to ensure that you can uh, push into this space and kind of control the middle. But um, as you can see, there's, you know, lots of ways for players to come in and flank. So if you're holding the space, you'll really not want to be here for too long unless you've got the support to do it. Yeah. Um, Make sure you throw those grenade, grenades right off of the rip, basically, mm -hmm. when you're coming out of spawn to try and yep. conquer that territory as best you can. Yeah, one of the things I love about these ice caves is, um, you know, it provides a lot of opportunity for grenades, like trip mines and to bounce things off of the, the back of the, of the walls and the, the shapes here are just... Neomuna is uh, what was on Neomuna, you know, human scale things that, you know, look relatable and yeah. we don't always get that in, in all of our palettes. And so um, this is also an opportunity for us to have a really clean architectural mm. map that has a lot of, um, you know, crisp edges and, um, you know, very uh, flat floors. So all of the definitely the more competitive players and Devil's the, the more PVP uh, diehards. Um, they really take to this map and it's an instant hit. Um, people are, you know, just right away pleased with, you know, how readable the map is. It's one of those maps that you play a couple times and you're, you, you get it, like you understand that it's all about this, the center atrium room that is really open and kind of, you know, has this big pit in the middle and then- I yeah, wasn't um, paying attention, hold up. Instant hit, um, people are, Know, so you load in right away pleased with close the area you know, how readable the map is it's one of those maps that you play a couple times and you're goes you, into you open it, like you understand that it's all about this the center atrium room that I like this really area kind of, this you know, entrance this area like in the middle and this then, middle you know, i guess um, the entrance there's this area down here which is uh, where a lot of objectives spawn and there's um, some special Cover. ammo down here but then there's also halls um, this place over here where the, the heavy ammo spawns yep. and there's a lot of cover everywhere Oftentimes, just cover pop up everywhere. Here to do a quick check and, and maybe like try to get a that a cover, kill that's cover, the wall, the corner, the uh, pillar, from cover to cover. But yeah. you can't hang out here for very long because you've got. What do you so mean? There's cover everywhere, at which you can um, get shot from. But that's that's kind of like that balance of what I was talking about before. Like we we want to provide that, but we want to make sure that um, it's what not. Mean, too there's cover everywhere. Or, He's saying it's um, open for everyone. You know, it's, it's still, behind this it's wall. It's a risk reward, right? You're making a trade off. Be behind the other wall. Um, you know, the, the players he who pushes are me on behind the another pillar. Understand the map will um, go inside you know, a door. 
use it to their advantage. Yeah, actually also too to kind of focus on the readability. Uh, I remember overhearing some discussions with, with you designers talking about the clean zone in PVP. Can okay. you tell us a little bit about what that is and how you kind of helped inform the design of this map? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the clean zone is something that, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of developers uh, really use to um, sort of create this space for what the, hell? Uh, uh, the player to pop, right? To like really stand out from the environment. And so for us, it's about where the player's head height is. And this map is you know, just one of the examples of how it, it can really provide for a good PVP experience to um, have this sort of mark on the wall where you can kind of expect players to, to reside in. Yeah. Um, Till they jump around and, and strand, suspend you in the air, and you're just left there cursing the heavens for yeah. a little while. Yeah. Maybe I'm speaking on my own behalf. <laughs> uh, this is this is looking fantastic. Yeah, this is, I will say, one of the maps that having done a little bit of playtesting myself, um, I still have to give you credit for perhaps one of the most diabolical heavy weapon spawns, or heavy ammo <laughs> spawns, rather, I should see, uh, in any PvP map. Like, the sheer amount of risk-reward that goes into <laughs> just making your way safely, or so you think, out to that particular territory. Right. Um, you know, as you guys were even building that balance in of these consumables on the map, Cooley, what was it like sort of having that, that process evolve and or, or grow? Beat the hell yeah. out of it. Um, you know, typically when we start laying out a map, we, we just kind of start with control because it's a, it's a good base point. It's, it requires three, you know, very well-defined combat pockets that have an objective in them. Um, but then from there, we start <laughs> mapping out the other objectives that know. might exist on a map, like the heavy ammo point. And I think we've kind of gravitated more toward having special ammo live next to some of the other objectives on the map, so you're not constantly having to make a choice of where, where should I go. Um, but we, we kind of map those things out, and um, it's, it's sort of a formula. There's, there's definitely a um, sort of a order of operations, so to speak, of you start with you know, these big strokes, um, you go to the next stage and, and start making sure that you've got you know, space and combat pockets for you know, maybe Dominion or you know, some, some other game modes, and um, things just kind of fall into place from there. All right, and we've also got, we've got one more map to check out as well uh, for all the fine folks at home. We're going to continue our guided tour, and we're going to make our way over to Essence, to one of the pyramid ships, to check out the final PvP pyramid map that we'll be releasing ship. in this pack. Uh, as we're flying in, i I got I to gotta give you guys credit. Like, the space that exists inside those pyramid ships that's being terraformed by the Traveler looks just absolutely incredible. But this is the first time you guys have had a chance to really flex your muscles and build a PvP map out here. Um, you know, Rob, just to start from your perspective as we load in, <clears throat> what was it like developing this, you know, playground for Guardians that's kind of so deep in the enemy's backyard? I think it was really tough. You yeah. know, like, the, I remember there were quite a few iterations of this map, and I know Cooley's going to go into more detail, but, like, from a high level, it's a, a pretty inherently noisy palette. You know, Cooley was talking about the clean zone. Mm. There's some palettes in the game that are, that are just very visually noisy. So the geometry is noisy. They create a lot of shadow and a lot of highlights just yeah. by the geometry itself. And then the textures, the shaders that are on the geometry, those can be noisy. Yeah. And then there's the clutter of the palette. So when, you, when you have uh, an environment with a lot of entropy and there's just mm -hmm. rubble everywhere, there's like garbage strewn around or, or plants hanging down, right. like we, we often do in Destiny, we have to declutter. Some of like the European <laughs> dead, dead zone maps, for example, yeah. are highly cluttered. And so, this was an example of one of those um, fairly entropic, high clutter palettes yeah. that the team had to kind of wrangle into shape. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sure Cooley's going to talk about that process because it was quite a process. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Cooley, I'd love to g continue and just start there. You know, taking yeah, to be honest, they're this all space pretty nice. on a pyramid ship. In a way, they seem similar too. Map. What was what was you that have process the close like range, the close the range area, side? the long range area. Yeah, you have it's again decent a, cover. a process of back and forth. Um, you know, we start with mass out, and mass out is a different or similar and in terms of how you can probably play them. Be. And uh, you know, from there we start um, developing the spatial character of of the map. And one of the things we like to ask ourselves is, what is this place? And even with um, a more abstract palette like um, the Essence ship, um, it's it's worth asking that question because we can leverage spatial archetypes that just kind of like naturally resonate with people. So um, like here we have in this map, we have sort of these dueling huts or these yeah. dueling, dueling ziggurats and inside of them is this artifact or shrine. So maybe this is like a, maybe this part of the ship is a, a collection of mysterious artifacts that the witness has collected. Um, 
And so we, we lean on those things to, to give a little bit of rhyme and reason to a space that otherwise is completely abstract. Um, and that, that is also really useful for us in terms of we can make any, any kind of space we want. Like we're not limited by architectural constraints. But um, you know, it, can be, it can be tough sometimes to, to orient pay, players in the map um, when you don't have things like doors or you know, <laughs> like TVs or, or um, you know, any sort of you know, human scale architectural pieces that um, kind of clue you in. So, yeah. yeah. It's also too is uh, yeah, I remember we were talking a little bit before the show, Rob, even about you know what it was like from a design standpoint and bringing in external testers to try these maps uh -huh. out for the first time. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and kind of as you I think phrased it, discovering your own blind spots? Yeah, well we've done this before for years really, and yeah. we did it again here and it was I think really successful because you know it was two days they ran through these maps when they were still in development. They yeah. weren't too far enough along where we couldn't make some some pivots that we needed to. Yeah. And they found a lot of stuff. I mean, we for this map, for example, we thought it was in a pretty good place. Yeah. And and a lot of things were called out. They didn't pull any punches. They were honest and clear and, and constructive with the feedback. And yeah. it wasn't super easy to hear at all. But sure. You know, when the when the team listened to it, and we we took tons of notes. And it was also about. I mean, they gave feedback on on our sandbox as well. Yeah. But <clears throat> lots and lots of map <laughs> feedback. It was incredibly <laughs> useful. And you know, just <clears throat> another lesson in what we don't see. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and it's just, it's so valuable to do that. And these, I can't say who they were, but they're very well known community yeah. players. Maybe folks in chat, who knows? But <laughs> yeah. 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 But, you know, you know we, you we really were careful about who we brought in because we wanted people that would be very pragmatic. Mm. You know, they weren't interested in their own, you know, YouTube monetization strategy or how, how they particularly make content. They wanted the game to be in a great place. They wanted PvP to be in a great place for, for the community and for Destiny. Absolutely. Right? And so, and they were carefully selected that way and great communicators who could articulate the feedback. They could really speak to what they were experiencing and, yeah. and what we could do to fix what they were experiencing. Yeah. yeah. And it may, I'd like, uh, Cooley can, can probably um, say what he thinks about it too, but yeah. I was just blown away by it. Yeah. How valuable that was, and uh, we definitely want to keep doing that. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah Cooley, can you tell us a little bit more yeah. about that experience on your side as well? Totally. I mean, it's so mm. fun to, like, those are some of my favorite moments when we can get a bunch of, um, you know, super fans from the community in and show them work in progress stuff, and they can actually give us real Wonder actionable who. feedback that we They're take back, about to the, back to our desks and They're talking talk good about, about it, and we, you mm. know, we, we discuss how can we... Um, you know, sort of take their feedback and move forward and um, this is this content is for them and in, yeah. in, in a big way right like we want we need their approval like we we absolutely you know that's our that's our that's our mark that's our our goal is to um, you know create content that they're gonna love playing and that they're excited to play and that their communities are gonna get excited to play and and sort of learn together and, and build strategies for um, you know that's that's the funnest part of the job. Yeah, I mean, also, you know, Cooley on, on your side in general, what are you most excited for, for <laughs> players to experience once this gets out into the world with Into the Light? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see these maps rotate into trials. I'm excited for players to have a totally new trials experience that, you know, is gonna be uh, a sort of a, an experience of discovery of, of these new spaces and, and new strategies and um, for players to also, you know, the the meta of isn't really formed yet. I mean, like we 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 sort of know how the map plays, but it's always a, a fun surprise to see in the wild um, just how the map ends up uh, sorting out and and what people end up doing. And um, you know, we're we're really looking forward to just watching what happens. Yeah. I mean, I, I count myself among the many that are excited to go ahead and dive on in, having more playgrounds to go ahead and dive on in on trials, no matter what the case is, to maybe try and go ahead and actually get some more competitive rank. Uh, Cooley, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through these today. We really appreciate it. Anytime, my pleasure. Excellent. And uh, all right, well, we'll go ahead and use that as a moment to conclude the uh, the quick tour of as well of the PvP maps. Uh, we got a quick question from chat from Jake Asor asking about, uh, are we going to get a playlist or mode? It'll be just these new maps during Into the Light. And the answer is yes. When they launch on May 7th, we'll have a 3v3 playlist to go ahead and talk just about these items. 3v3? Uh, or rather let you play just those maps. Rather, we're talking about them today. I mean, I know it's like competitive, but like I didn't know uh, it was all. All right, well, that uh, so far wraps up the first two segments of our show. 
Okay. But we've got, as I mentioned at the top, a few more announcements for you as well. Which so is? you may have heard us mention the word Pantheon in the TWID last week, uh, or even on the show here last week potentially as well. We have got a brand new uh, raid oriented, a raid boss gauntlet rather, starting on April 30th. Now there will be more information about this in an upcoming TWID. You'll have more details raid to dig into shortly, gauntlet. but you will have the Pantheon coming up where you'll have an opportunity to face grueling raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. Now this is a chance for you to go ahead and rally your clan or the perfect fire team with Fireteam Finder, if you're able to track them down, to go ahead and track down those exotics, adept weapons, any emblems you may not have gotten your hands on, but we have more details for that in the coming weeks. Keep an eye on the TWID, Cosmo and the community team. Thank you for your hard work putting that together. Two, uh, when you dive on in on, uh, on April 9th, uh, actually rather before we get there, I'm sorry, we will have the opportunity to also, you'll have the opportunity to get a title through your course of Into the Light as well. So if you dive on in, go ahead and unlock all the triumphs associated with the seal, you'll be able to march into the final shape with a brand new title, Brave, as well. So make sure, go ahead and get those, those big challenges bit off so that way you can handle them uh, as early as you possibly can and let the witness know that you're on the way. Uh, and we have three really, really cool things hitting on f April 9th when Into the Light launches. The first one is, if you're a new player, you got a buddy who's just jumping into the game for the first time, and you'd rather not hang out with Shahan and the Cosmodrome, then you have an opportunity to go ahead and just join the front lines. You can skip the New Light campaign, give Shahan maybe a high five on the way out, ask him for a weekly bounty when you're back later, but you have a chance to go ahead and meet up with your friends, head to the Hall of Champions, grab the Gift of the Thunder Lords if you so choose, and get right ready for battle along alongside them. So you'll be able to go ahead and grab some of these new light kits as well, depending on what your subclass of choice is out of the gate, but your barriers to dive in with your friends have never been lower. There'll be a chance to go ahead and dive on into everything you're seeing within the light here. Uh, also, we have a couple more things. We have some questions in chat about this as well uh, from it's Zepsky and Atlas Live TV, but on 4.9, you'll have the opportunity to also change your, what, the way your character looks. So uh, you'll be able to go ahead and change your hair if you didn't like your haircut, if you want to go ahead and change your face paint, if you want to go ahead and risk it to be one of those guardians who goes helmetless in the tower. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough, but I know many of you are. Your chance will be arriving very soon with Into the Light. Uh, and there will also be an opportunity to change your name. So Guardian 4681 out there. With the launch of Into the Light, we're also going to give you one more name change token. If you already have your sitting around, I believe you have two, but our friends in DPS will be able to answer that question for you. But you'll have that chance as well once Into the Light launches. <sighs> now, a there's a lot, but we also have one more thing for all of you. Uh, next week, we're going to be joining you again for a special developer preview of some gameplay for Destiny 2 The Final Shape. Mm -hmm. It'll be uh, here, wherever you're watching live, you'll be able to go ahead and watch it on no April 9th way. at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, uh, where you'll get a chance to basically, again, get a look behind the scenes as the developers have been hard at work for some mm -hmm. cool stuff that you are definitely not going to want to miss. And over the course of that show, Ooh. Twitch drops will be live. So they'll have, there'll be another emblem, which you can see here live on the screen, that'll be available uh, after about 15 minutes of view time. Uh, if you haven't gone ahead and also unlocked the emblems that you got as a result hey, of this show or that we're, we're having available during the Into the Light streams, to 10 then hours? you have a chance to go ahead and spend <laughs> some more time unlocking those as well. Uh, but uh, that that does it. Um, for starters, but to all of you guardians them, out there in chat, everybody. thank it's you so much for them. taking the time to join us. We're thrilled about what we've been able to show off and thrilled about what the team's been working on for Into the Light. So thank you for taking the time to join us. just then, then 15 uh, minutes chat, is fine. see you out there having a good time. So thank you very much for taking the time just to join us today. Then uh, also, it, it goes without saying, but we'll go ahead and do so anyway to the incredible team here at Bungie, building Into the Light, making all of this. Uh, the teams that you guys have been kind enough to represent, thank you all so much for all of your hard work. Uh, we're nothing without the entire teams that we have here teams are obviously greater than heroes and we're firm believers in that and you're all great examples hmm. uh, of, of that whole scenario uh to yeah, our yeah, play yeah. testers as well that have helped us bring this show to life to ashley payton and michael here behind the scenes uh thank you so much for for showing off some of the cool new content and of course all of our guests to tom to rob to cooley to willie to noah to kelsey that is us here so much for helping each other party's over what party started? How do I not get kicked? Am I cheating chat? Is that how I have a lot of hours in the game? Why am I not kicked? I should have been kicked, shouldn't I have been? Why is my game cheating? I just watched for like 40 minutes and my character is still in here and he hasn't even been touched once.
Why haven't I been sent to orbit? Step on up. Take a look. Yusuf, which one? The Titan? Exclamation mark strand Titan 2? I want the warlock? Exclamation mark strand warlock. The hunter is the one that I haven't really Let's uploaded or made a video on yet. Uh Song Request is back on. Thank you for the couple of new followers. We had a couple of new followers during that bit of the stream. Luna Faction Boots, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, I don't know how to read your name. Chinese name, Japanese name, one of them um Vietnamese name could be. I don't know. I'm sorry, man. Young Mexi, what's going on? Parky, how you doing? Dave, again, thank you very much for those gifted subs earlier. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. TikTok, wake up. Y'all sleeping. Hmm. I am. That's crazy. Pacata. Gonna hit him with a pacata. Oh man, that was all right. Maps are cool. TV. I don't really remember how to do the mission to be honest and if they said they changed so much then yes I guess Hey, it's Paul. It's funny how they said it's somebody that that don't care about the money. I don't know how much I believe that. The fact that they had to mention that in there, it was like an, it's like not about monetization. It's not about it's somebody that really wants to see the community. I don't know, man. That's crazy. Mostly for I don't know. It's crazy. That's how I gotta say. Where my people at, bro? Where they go? There was one. They left me. That's crazy, bro. She got a barcode on her vajay. Because she's out here selling it. You can use your phone to scan it. Monkey, wake up. Sultan Zamano. What up, ya Sultan Habibi? What up, what up, man? Mauricio, I see you. Que si pagata. It's a warlock day, bro. Everybody's favorite day. Bumba claw shot off. 
Oi. They broke because they're doing too much clubbing. Oi. Dude, dude said he came out the wound thugging. That's crazy. You heard prod GM today. I'm down. I mean, Kuroto. Um, maybe. Possibly. Could be. I need that shotgun still. I don't have a lot of points. I have 15. Okay, I get to buy at least one, I think. When I get to the t finishing with it. What mission is this? Julian, this is the latest dungeon in the game. This is the latest dungeon in the game, senor. If you ever heard of dungeons in this game, this is the newest one. Fucking moron! He literally walked right in front of my line of sight, dude. What a fucking bot. How you gonna go rent somebody and kill somebody? Like, what the fuck is the point? Where the hell is it? I bet I get no help from him. Bungee troll in front. Wait, he didn't get in front of me? Was it one of my threadlings? Nah, bro, it was my teammate. There's no way. I'll record it. There's no way. Was it a threadling? Why are you saying bungee trolling me? <laughs> Twiggy, we don't have moderators like that around here. I wish we did, though. I really wish we did, bro. What was that? We don't have moderators like that around here, bro. They can ask the same question a gazillion times. It'll never be a goddamn command. One to the right. That's the second time. So you don't want to be mod? I mean, I guess I'm talking about you then if you're the only mod. Actually, there's two of you that come around, but let me know if you don't want to be mod so I can stop talking about you. It's mod job, yeah, definitely don't do. That's for sure. Maybe we'll give it to somebody who actually wants to moderate. Do moderator things other than ban people. To ban people easy. Is 
Let me know if you want to quit, man. If you want to resign. We'll pass, we'll pass the sword to somebody else. Maybe somebody actually want to do work. Oi, that was close. Any advice on trying to return to destiny? Ah, uh, well, this would be a, the time to come back. There's a free update coming. There's a couple of decent weapons coming. Just jump back, play the game. Level up, find some loot, have some fun. If you're not having fun, go somewhere else. Play something else. Yeah. Bro. I Rene on el YouTube. Good morning. How you doing, bro? I can't jump today because I'm on the warlock. That's why. Even this guy caught up to me. That's crazy. Go fast like you too. I right, skip the chairs, bro. No, don't talk to me. You got me killed. You're a liar. You just told me there's loot there. You didn't tell me that chest switches. I grabbed it the next day and I died. Don't talk to me no more, bro. We're not friends. Talking about, look at you talking about I didn't grab it again. Look at you. I was yesterday here on the hunter and I grabbed the same chest you told me to grab and I died. And Chad told me it moves, so it's your fault. You didn't tell me shit. <laughs> so now I left it. <laughs> now, bro, I told me there's loot in this one. Fucking dead. <laughs> I made it. I try to find it too. Like I roam my rent, I roamed around. I try to check out the chest. All of them was glowing. So then I gave up. That was a song. Fairly new to the dungeon. Also in front of walking people. In front of lead. Nah, I can't even speak. Walking in front of thin grenade launches. Chest doesn't work for the hunter. Oh, we're gonna work for the warlock. <laughs> Should have tried. Sitting at eight. Sitting at ten. 
Did he kill Edge? Oh, I'm actually freeze. Seven seconds, five, four, three. I don't think I make it. Maybe one pop, pop. She didn't pop. And did it go faster? She would have popped. Wait, what? Where am I? I'm at 15. I don't think it passes 15, right? Damn, that sucks. I don't think it passes 15, does it? Yeah, it stays at 15 now. You get half the mag. I thought it was 150% of the mag. That's half. That's 50%. Oh, I'm gonna freeze No, I'm freezing I forgot about that I was in my weed walker chilling I didn't notice like being frozen That sucks Actually, no I lost my grenade launcher I had 15 in the mag I'm not gonna get it back on time That sucks, that death is horrible Look at my grenade launchers Back to 5 That sucks Back at eight. Wait, where's damage? Oh shit. They're coming. <laughs> He's gonna lose it probably. No damage? Wait, why didn't that damage? Bro, we're missing one. <laughs> Wait, he's still damaging. <laughs> Hey, it seems like we did It wasn't me I put it in At least I get time I have 13 Damn it, they're separated. I don't think I get to do both of them. Yeah, well, actually, all we need is one, so. I need to find special ammo. I'm sitting at 13. I need to do a little more. I think it's at 15 now. No, it's not going. Wait for me, asshole. This guy was quick, bro. Guy's in a hurry right now. Fuck! I landed on him. I didn't even see him, dude. That sucks. Like I didn't even see him in front of me until I landed on him. Doing full damage in the grenade launcher. Uh, I'm doing 35s and 20. I'm supposed to be doing like 50 something and 35. Oh, sure. My damage is not bad. To use my grenade. Man, I damaged the whole way through. 
Maybe not perfect damage, but out to the end. I don't even really re well, actually, I actually did reload my grenade launcher. That sucks. Look what you did to me. It's crazy. Chat, all requests is on. You got uh, strand. Uh, yeah. Cody, exclamation mark, strand warlock. Oh, but like you're on the YouTube, so you're not going to be able to see the commands. But I do have a video. It's in the Twitch commands. It's in the Twitch commands. But I see you asking for it on the YouTube. Like I definitely have can like video for it, but like for you to get the link, you have to be in the YouTube. I mean, you have to be in the YouTube. You have to be in the Twitch. Oh, he's not summoning it. He summoned it. He's done. And he summoned it right here. Perfect. Make it up for the last two. So I'm gonna find me some ammo. Five, four, three, two, one. Better go away. Bro, he's not going away. The biting cold. <laughs> Trying to kill these guys around the plate, bro. These guys are my peepee. -pee. No, oh, I don't want to pick that up. Oh my god. Where's that one? Oh, we still missing. Wait, we lost one? Oh, they only did three? I knew that. Oh, the boss is on me. I was damn, I did mine. Wait, you see that? Well, that's the YouTube right there, Cody. Like, you can't really, you know. You can't click on it, but you at least can see it now. <laughs> if you want to type that in your browser, there you go. You got it. But if you're in the, in the Twitch chat, you can just click on the link and I'll take you. I don't know how you make Nightbot work everywhere. I don't know if that's even a possibility because when you log into Nightbot, it logs in with my Twitch account. So, like, I don't know how to make it, like, Work for everything. I don't think, it, like I said, I don't think it can. I can use my grenade. He's burning, bro. Two void grenades landed on that booty. Immune, I knew it. Tractor cannon from a hunter. That's kind of new. That's kind of new. No sidearm. That sucks. Baby, yeah, yo me enteré. Something, something. Yo no sé. I don't. Cuando me ve. Dominic, thank you for following the TikTok. Cold Samurai, thank you for sharing the TikTok. What's your Twitch? Uh, Enraged Cinema. It should be somewhere linked. Oh, it should, should be right under the stream. You should be able to see it. Daniel! Daniel, what's going on? Are you doing dungeon? Uh, I don't even know what the GM is because reset happened, right? Is it a fun one? Is it a bad one? Because reset happened is not I, I like the last one a lot of people hated the last one We're able to complete that shit in 10 minutes Wait, sad I'm out of it 
The entrance was really fun too. It was crazy. It was enemy on top of enemy on top of enemy, and then more enemy, and then more enemies. Yeah, I don't even know what the GM is. No, no, you're cool, God. It's whatever you prefer. I mean, it's different, you know. YouTube doesn't have music. I believe YouTube has a little bit of a higher quality. Um, it's just yeah, the commands thing. I, I, there should be a way. There should be maybe like another bot I could connect, but like I haven't had the time or I really figured it out yet. I can just transfer my nightbot commands automatically across the board. That would be nice. Oh no! Oh, oh my God! My face. <laughs> PSI Ops Cosmodrome. Don't tell me it's that witch at the end that has the thunder. Don't tell me it's that witch that has that thunder everywhere. Cosmodrome Battleground. Or is it the one where you start off pushing the ship? There's like the little ship you gotta push. I forgot. I'm not good with the names the spear trucking one isn't there two of them though yeah you have to push the thing at the beginning that's one is not i don't mind it i like the entrance because there's like a lot of shit to kill i jump on that rock after that rock passes Uy, con yo su madre. Se a la madre. Or like jump baby, we're going, we're going chat. We don't even think about it. We just jump. We just jump. Oy. Se jodio la madre. Vamos, we gotta go for years. Oh my God. Or oh, my hands just start sweating immediately. That's crazy. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It wasn't even there for 30 seconds and just water starts coming out. <laughs> it don't even make sense. Gotta be studied or something. I have to actually walk over there. I don't have my grapple grenade. I forgot to switch. I normally switch and I grapple around, but she happens. Do it like normal people now. Do it like normal people. I'm here to help. My kids are here. My children are here. Eat him. Shit. I'll see. Should be all right. But it's not even strand burn anymore. That's crazy. That means it's solar and stasis again. I hate these GMs. I don't rotate the burns. It's like the same GMs stay with the same burns. Rotate the burns too. Papi Chulo. Hey, don't do that. Chill. Get your hands off of that, mother flower. Don't do that. Hey! Let's see these damage builds. Let's see Paul. Watch out. Watch out. You got good weapons. Good setup. 
the hell is he doing? Not bad neither. They both got good stuff. This should be easy, right? Golden gun, one weakening, two damage. Should be free 99. One phase right here, chat. The one phase. Fourteen. Oh, I got punched because of him. I got punched because of my teammate. That's crazy. Hey, we got both of them. Just need to be surrounded. Last switch, three seconds, two seconds, zero. I believe I am surrounded. Not fully surrounded, but. Say so myself. How do I get the grenade launcher to work again? So I could dump all fifteen again. Wait. Sitting at nine. Oh, Junior today? Guys didn't sent it. Oh no, where's my help? Threadling just walked in front of my sheet. Yeah, that was short time. Whatever, I got the dump heavy. That's crazy. That's not a good. That's not good. That's not good to have those threadlings like that ready. It kills me. Special or heavy. Normally have something. Oi. Oi. No, bro! What? Behind cover! I even jumped it! That's crazy. She just fucking did a wanted shot. playing his I thought I was playing his save I was chilling Oh, 
we're not here yet wait what did i just fuck it up did i go too early oh <gasps> i've bro what wait i'm confused why did it mess up no i cost us the one phase somehow some way He's looking at me. Why is he looking at me? I don't know how what He's just at the eyes with the tether he left early, but like we normally don't have like, like that much time was it because he shot the eyes and that's why it lasted longer I think we lasted there for quite a while I got my super, I dumped my special, I shot my hand cannon, I had nothing else to shoot. I, I was like, I'll leave and I'll start doing weave walker. Supposedly when you shoot the eyes, it extends time. Or something like, I don't know, I don't know if it's true, like I never really believed it, but. Extends time? Oh. That's good to me. I guess it really does. They never really play with a team that kills them. Man, my eye fucked it up for us, thing for sure. Bam. We had the one phase. I was like, yeah, because this is almost like the same time as usual. I'll start leaving right now and building my weave walker as we're walking. But I, I yeah, I guess time got extended. And we choked it. today damage i feel like i did pretty good i mean it's hard to beat golden gun but let's see we still beat golden gun but he was dead a couple times mm. We do that. What's on your grenade launcher? Surrounded envious. I'll show it to you right now. That's the only problem. Like you have to have those takens around you when you dump. Like you can build it up to fifteen grenade launchers. You can build half the magazine in one like in one like you know one phase. But whenever you dump it, you just need to make sure this is active. This gets it up to 47% bonus damage. So whenever I have like three enemies around me, my, my thing does 47 because it is an enhanced trait. Normally it'll be 40%, but because it's enhanced, it's getting 47. Ariel Cortez, te veo en el TikTok. Same guy. Same game, still at it. And then Envious allows you to hold like, I, I supposed to be 150% of your magazine in one side, but I only got mine up to 50. I haven't passed in the 50%, like I was only pulling 15 in the mag or 15 from, my, from the 30. Um, I'll play with Strand for the first run. I have anti barrier. Somebody asked for a GM. Are you still here? You still want to do a GM with me? My first one of the day. Mini Cloud, you trying to play, bro? I know you gave your spot last time to somebody. Latest raid? What is the latest raid? Um, Crota. 
Raid time? What is raids looking like on 11G? I normally just sneak in there. I know Repent trying to do a raid. Normally sneak in here. Crota uh, 257, 157. One fifty seven was the last post. Looking for one on totems. Last post for a fresh invite was a fifty. One fifty AM. What are you trying to play? I'm trying to do a GM. Trying to see which one it is. I'm trying to see you if you're trying to join, because last time you gave you a spot to to J. Row, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I was talking to somebody yesterday. I forgot who it was. They told me they have a onslaught triple tap and I was telling them how it's nice, but like you kind of waste ammo and you get increased damage. You just shoot it fi faster. But then I remembered, I don't know when I got my roll today, I was like, well, yeah, but triple tap gives you back your ammo. So it increases your damage, but as long as you hit your crits, then you'll be getting back, you know, the ammo that in a way like it's kind of making up for it. Well, it's not just to increase the fire rate and do bonus damage because it's just, you know, you're shredding through your ammo. Um, But if you shred through your ammo and also get bonus ammo, that's, that's also not bad neither. But I did get the triple tap onslaught. I have other ones, though. El Marcato. We should try it just for shits and giggle. Did you play Iron Banner? I don't play Crucible, man. I don't play PvP. I heard there's something about a new weapon, but... I don't think that even will get me back, bro. Like, they really fucked up my Crucible experience with their matchmaking. Like, you just have... It's a PvE game. I'm not gonna go look for PvE loot in PvP. They really killed my PvP experience with their matchmaking. I have no intentions, no idea, no memory, no thought, no... No nothing. No, no craving, no missing, like... The last two, three years of it was just so disgusting. It's just, I'm, I'm happy my life is not there. Like, I'm happy I have nothing to do with Crucible. I have no reason to play, to do reviews, to do, try to do good with a weapon that's trash or show, like, show off. Like, just the matchmaking was disgusting. I'm happy I'm out of that. I mean, I took a big hit in terms of, like, community support and channel support and video support, but... I'm just a happier fucking person, bro. Like truly happier human without that in my life. Just having to deal with that matchmaking. Mostly since I did it like all day, every day. I know some of you guys are like, oh, two hours, you know, an hour. Did that shit for like eight hours a day, every day for years, more than eight hours a day. And even then, like we demolished, like there's, you know, Going on rin streaks, crazy ass KDA, 7.0 for the season, 6. I like it's not like I got destroyed or anything. It was just it just too it took too much to do that. Like I'm I was playing for I was supposed to be playing for fun. There was no fun. It was just sweating and sweating and fucking sweating and sweating and it just never stopped. It never got easy, it never got better. I have no craving, no missing, no nothing about wanting to go back in there. Zalo, what's going on? How you doing? Crystal Lee, I see you. Welcome back. Hola, hola. Mini Cloud, where did you find it at? You talking about my grenade launcher still? The grenade launcher comes from the raid. Um, Nightmare something, the tormentor boss. You know the boss that has the tormentor at the end? You gotta shoot his sides and then you shoot him in the belly after. That's where the grenade launcher comes.
Oh shit, we got three. Let's go. Jelly beans. Unstoppable anti barrier. I like your build. Me gusta tu build, senor. At least your weapons. I don't know about this shit. <laughs> I want to see unlimited grenades. If I don't see unlimited grenades, you got to retire the build. You're bringing strand. All right, so he's the on stop then. Our only on stop. Um, I just noticed. Um, I'm not sure which one we're exactly playing, but we're probably going to miss the Polaris. All right, I don't know. I think I know. You guys told me it's the one where we got to push the little ship at the beginning. Shaq, appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Thank you for time for Man, they hurt you. They hurt you, man. Oh, 100. Ashwin Gaming, what's up, what's up? I see on the YouTube, we at it, we still trying. New Destiny incoming, new update incoming. Should be fun, that whole wave thing. Should be enjoyable, should be entertaining. Let's go, Strand. Let's go, Strand. Let's go. Let's go heavy, too. No, wrong weapon. I said I want to bounce them in front of them first. I think that's how I get the most damage out of it. Something like that. Look at this guy's movement. He's still dead. Can I grab my balls? My balls. I love that I can go weave walker mode while grabbing the balls. Wait, what? That's crazy. You got sniped from left side. Feels bad. Thank you for the help, guys. They're all green, so you can just hit them. They'll be unraveled. He's unraveled too. What the hell? He's inside the bro. He's inside the cart. That would have given me more melees. What classic character do you like running most? Uh... Lately, it's been the Warlock. Well, Warlock or Hunter, to be honest. I mean, I know my Titan is the strongest and he's my main, but Warlock is pretty nice with the Threadlings and making the builds and the reload and the heal and the Weave Walker and babies making babies. For me, probably be, I don't know, it's between Warlock Strand or Hunter Strand. Very enjoyable. At least for me. This team is pushing, though. I'm surprised the first team is playing like this. I'm surprised this first team is pushing like this. You're pushing, pushing. Probably where we want to 
gonna push back maybe a little bit or no we're pushing things are gonna come out <laughs> let me pick up this oh shit what hit me Well, yeah, I think we're gonna open. One. There's two. Oh no! The guy. No, I don't have no stoppable. Ah, oh, it's over. Might as well just go to orbit. Hey, it's over. Hey, it's over. I have no unstop. Our unstop is dead. Our only unstop. Damn it, up the dream. Damn. That's crazy. What do I do about it? Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, it's two of them, too. That's crazy, man. I got the one with the hand cannon. Yeah, he is the one with the hand cannon. Oh, you went for the res. You don't have unstop either. Oh wait, you have unstop. Hey, you don't. You are the one with the unstop. You're alive. I'm a little late with the damage. Need another stun. No help. There it is. At least we're not in orbit, I guess, right? Uh, J Twins exclamation mark strand warlock somebody in the chat could help you out one of the nice millions of people we have around this community stockpiles of stolen light the community that keeps this community going the hive have figured out a way to store our light veterans to power their rituals we need to shut this down now I really want to play with the well. We should play inside in the back. Hmm. But he doesn't have Phoenix Protocol, bro. He has he has the arms. He's not gonna be getting back as well that crazy. Oh, 
I might have fucked up. <laughs> Let me get out of here. <laughs> Worst timing to go in. Waiting for the stun. Oh shit, I moved. I'm really weird there. Oh, my super just hit the entrance of the door. I think it did. Going in, chat. Oh, I wanted that. Special, I need it. Oh, I never picked up the heavy. I thought I picked up the heavy. I only get one mag. That's 66. They're coming for us. Oh my god. I didn't even notice him. Almost died too. I oh! I almost died too. I was going to Weave Walker right there. Juan Luis, what's going on? Go look at the pasando. We sweating out here. I always forget. What do you forget, Flash? Guess I don't read that. I don't know where's the rest of that message. Hold up, bro. No, I couldn't get you, bro. Something stopped me from resing you. I had it and then I reset it. What was like taking too much damage or something? Oh my god, I can't do nothing. Dude, the ogres are alive, that's why. Gotta kill that one. That one is the problem over there. Needs to stun the one over there. Can't even peek through the door with this one. On him again. What the hell is this music? Bro? What's wrong with you? That's normal. Whoa, 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 whoa. That shit went. That escalated real quickly, bro. That shit escalated real quickly, bro. <laughs> that switched up fast. Every day we was eating salami.
thought those were orbs. Oh, snap! Goddamn butterflies. Which one was worse? First one or the second one? There are more of those light batteries. I don't banana. The hive must be prepared. Exclamation mark PVP. Exclamation What the hell did I just do? Exclamation mark PVP. Exclamation mark PVP. Oh my. So we're getting sent to orbit by the shield, right? All right, the shield is sending us to orbit. This one right here, the purple one is moving around. Oh, bro, what? It just literally went up. It started going up. Oh my God. us to orbit i'm telling you bro that's what's gonna take us to orbit that going to or you're not gonna raise your teammate i raised you where's our friend that's crazy you want me to raise him too <laughs> i think i could go super because i get my super back right yeah A Polaris neither. I hate those shields. Yeah, we, we and we don't have a Polaris neither. At least one Polaris for this GM. Hey, you don't get ammo. That's crazy. That's disrespectful. He will kill you in the well with that. Don't think you're safe in the well. Oh, I just heard a shield flying by me. <laughs> Let me go to the blade to the left. Yeah, he'll throw a grenade. No move. It's gonna be rough. Where's the ammo? I, I thought I was gonna get special, but I didn't. I only got my super. I thought I was gonna get ammo, but I only got super. You just can't be so close when he's purple or a grenade bro chain all of us like it literally has target acquisition like if one is near it'll just go that way she can't be cornered up when he does that Mm-hmm. 
Hey, you gonna come get us both killed now? Getting your teammate killed over there. You gonna come get me killed now? I don't know who's getting who killed, but don't come get me killed now. My spot. Oh shit. <clears throat> Motherfucker threw a grenade. We got an ogre incoming, ladies. Be careful. Drive her out at the point of your spear, guardian. Guardian down. Mm -hmm. Guardian down. Oh, you guys are trolling right now. We might not be able to get this res. No. I, I got him, I got him, but the Nova bomb. to expect back here no she moved i never played bro the ogre is on his body the only unstoppable player we have i don't know why we're roaming around too yeah crazy What's that sidearm? In-depth kindness, 10 out of 10. Huh, probability. This one is a shitty one to fail, to be honest. It's not the greatest. Yeah, we might just do one attempt because this one is not the greatest. We'll see if the things don't change. Grandmaster Hari said orbit. Hardest content in Destiny 2. Hardest content in Destiny 2. We'll give it another run because the beginning was pretty alright with these guys, but it definitely went to sleep after. Plus, this guy has um again, I don't like to tell people what to use, but like he's using unlimited grenades, but you haven't seen a single solar grenade. You have sun braces on, but like I haven't seen a single solar grenade. I'm not saying it's your fault because it's hard to use in a GM. You normally want to use Phoenix. Give us the wells over and over again. I don't think it's hard, bro. These are, I think every GM, bro, it's, you know, with the right team, you just breeze through them. This is, this is completed in like eight minutes, six minutes. Like the, the you know, this, you know, I'm not saying everybody's a speed runner, but. Like, it's just like any other GM. It gets completed fast if you know what you're supposed to do. No arguments here. Let's bring him down. Just like any other GM, man.
Our damage went to sleep. This guy is walking right in my sidearm. Not shooting him. Watch out with the side of the snipers, either left or right. How do you know Arabic? I lived in Amman for two years. I'm Palestinian. My mom, my dad. sniped I got sniped bro I'm still pushing the cart I'm the layers all I am Tim to you uh did it FHD did it I got the cart in Like till he opens up. I'm not gonna use my um my heavy machine gun until he opens the crit spot. Toma, Toma, Toma. This thing it's pretty hard anyways. Toma, Toma, Toma. Or an add to kill, you get bonus damage. No, yeah, I did get it. Me still, oh man, he's still going for me. I have to go into this. Why he loses, loses me when I go like that. Run out of ammo. His run is not going as great as the last one. The last one was beautiful. They can't all be great, bro. They can't all be great. Pushing the cart. Need to be pushing the cart. Need to be taking cover behind the cart. Bob, get the music. DJ. But yeah, man. GM straight to orbit. Don't go on top on the top right. Whatever you do, don't no jump down. You're gonna spawn unlimited ads. Oh, if he spawns the wizards, I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. I'm gonna leave. You're going orbit if he spawned them, did he? I don't think he did. Golden track. What, what, what? Yeah, I do have golden track. Huh? I might be dead. <laughs> nope. Bro, look at that. I'm still attacking me. Somebody's gonna die now. Because they're not attacking me. So he's attacking him. And he's about to die too. Jelly's dead in three, two, one. Hey, I made it look so good earlier, bro. I thought you guys were professionals. These guys got lucky. Guys made it look so good earlier. I thought you guys were professionals, bro. Hey, he's still slammed. Not even sure. I haven't seen it yet. Don't tell me. We got dubstep in the house. What the hell?
that another ogre I see? Who's gonna ignite him? I was not hitting him. Imagine if I had beacon rounds. <laughs> like, he was the only one in line of sight, but imagine if I had beacon rounds and it was tracking somebody else. He was the only one in front of me and it still wasn't hitting him. It was hitting somebody. Oh, no. No, I got him. What a beast, that anti barrier, bro. Best anti barrier I've ever seen in my life. Rough, ladies. Did I just get a marcato? divers i don't know i actually been been more than enough with destiny bro i've been enjoying my time in destiny the time just goes somehow i just look at the time and it's fasting time normally i just keep going and going and going but like as long as i'm fasting and can't stay on forever it's crazy though normally i wouldn't even get off i wouldn't even think about getting off i just get off when i'm super tired I, oh my bro, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I don't even have I don't even have my uh my balls. I need to grab a green ball and throw it and get my melees back. I think one of these guys should make me one in one second. Now if I kill something with this grenade it'll make me one. I am on cooldown, so I made one, I just don't see it. Oh it's right there. I need to grab that and throw it at somebody. Why? Bro! What the hell? He moved out the way! Ooh. I didn't know which one he stunned. I don't know if I'm gonna hit, to be honest. Disappear soon. Damn it, I literally went to go grab that. Void Hunter, Solar Warlock, and whatever you want as a third character. Solar Hunter to heal, 
Void Hunter to weaken and get back the orbs, and then one like damage to make orbs for them to bring their shit back. It'll be like actually fun. Or just three strand titans. Just call it a day. Oh my god. <laughs> or just three strand titans and call it a day and punch everything. God, that was crazy. This spot is horrible. I always say this every time we play the GM. That's a nasty crash. That's a nasty crash. Zalo, pretty easy is going. Alhamdulillah. Chilling, chilling. August, wake up. We throwing on this GM. Repent, you're next. Yeah, we need to uh we need to switch it up. That spot is horrible. We have a well too, man, but we don't have a Phoenix well. Steel Wings, welcome to the fastest growing channel on Twitch. Most supported streamer in 10 years, 15 years. Welcome, welcome, man. Nice to have you back in the stream. Yeah, sure. Uh, dungeon, sure. But yeah, definitely agree. Solar Warlock with a Polaris right now. See, Ignitions. You could use Don Churro to get 200% of your Scorch damage. Inside to the right. Inside to the right back there where I'm aiming. Of course you dodge my grenade, nothing new. Here. You just have to worry about a spawn that's right here. And right here a little bit, like that's it. But if you have a well, you don't really worry about nothing else. And then you just shoot everything. Just worry about the little acolytes to spawn here in the night and the acolytes and nights to spawn here, but you just sit here. Probably pop the well like a little bit outside like protected but the rest of it like out here so you could heal off of it while peeking out an operation of this scale was required we did so much better the first run i don't know what happened close. i I've normally like people that improve with each run even if you fail you we didn't improve we got way worse so now this makes me more scared for this area this is the part where we failed so if the part that we knew how to do we did it worse and the part that we failed I mean, we didn't improve so I don't, I don't know what to expect here i mean i know what to expect here i'm not expecting any better ah, double down guardian down <laughs> it's coming for you jelly bean <laughs> 
That's all oh, shit. Oh, he fucking went Super Saiyan again. Oh, no! Me! me? He... Lo I... How did he... When did he throw it at me? That's crazy. I didn't even see him like do the animation at me. This mother. I'm scared. I don't want to play no more. I lost confidence. There goes Goku again. Bro, how did he reach all the way over here? No, actually, I've seen it hit back here. That was robbery. I agree. I 100% agree. I mean, I normally play it right here if I'm, if I'm being honest. But there can't be people around me. Thing is, he kills me in Weave Walker. I tested before. I wasn't full health. Maybe I need Wee Walker and Wolven Mail. Alright, so send out the grenade, send out the class ability. I want a super. Another grenade, another class ability. Please don't hit this shit. He put the shield sideways. Nice. Boom. All the threadlings hit him. I said that earlier. I didn't hear him. Repent, you still trying to join? I told I don't know why you guys put the well there. I told you he kills you through the well. I've told you the first time, but I told you the second time. But yeah, I put it in the middle. Wait, what happened to the team? What the dream? Prod, no. I mean, bro, the well's to heal. When I see a well, I go in it. You know? I didn't even know he went super. I didn't know he went super neither, to be honest. But it's it's a bad well. It's a bad well. Yo, we have to switch it up, man. It's not working. I think it's going to be repentant gas jelly being in uh, mini cloud. Not that I'm trying to boot you guys, but that's already two attempts. I can't say all stream trying to do attempts. Uh, we can try again after. But um, I'm a, I'm a repent wanted to join and guess is already in here. I mean, hopefully that, you know. Just sucks, but. It's not, it's not going. You can try again after. Try right after, man. I mean, it definitely was a very bad placement of the well twice. The first time I left it, the first time he popped it like that in the middle, I went to the right side. But this time, like, I needed heals. I was weak. I just jumped in it. I read chat for one second, and then I was dead. Like, I wasn't, like, you know, fully aware of what was going on. I dumped my super. I dumped my grenade. I saw a well. I went to healing it, and then 
There was a disc. Cabal intel suggests that the Cosmodrome has become a light storage facility for the Lucent Hive. They're creating light batteries? What for? Let's hope we never find out. Um, if these are, uh, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't have a list right now who wants to join. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, I have one. I'm surprised only at least one of you guys needed to have a Polaris. Like Polaris works like almost like it's almost broken in this. Just because of the range. And you can play so much more safe than you know. Snipers are coming. Hey man, I gotta keep pushing the cart. He'll raise you. <laughs> no! I got too close. Version. I heard it well once back there. Need to back up. Ugh. Look at all these orbs. That's crazy. Well, I wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna waste them. Oh shit! I want a super. Oh, did I just jump into front of his super? I just jumped in front of bro. I was jumping to get ready for your super. That's crazy. That sucks, bro. The second he went up in his super, I went up to do me even more. Than that. that sucks. Damn, I threw. Yeah, that sucks, balls. I'm sorry, it wasn't on purpose. I was actually trying to be efficient. I'm just trying to go faster. That's normally what happens though. Who 
bro she did so much damage it was the grenade though damn bro great run that was a little yeah it was it was nice at the beginning turned off it turned off it's not a potato and started jumping in front of people super it was pretty nice we're going to the back being disarmed is more shameful mm. than being killed in battle i imagine it's the same with the guardians durable this looks like some kind of storage depot, but instead of weapons, they're collecting guardian light. As well. And she was the one holding us back. And him too, I guess. Super's ass. That's why I use it for ads. That's literally why I use it for ads. That was literally by himself. Then we gotta do something. Gotta capture or take something here. So we gotta kill all the ads. Take it somewhere or something. supposed to be fun bro like this is not hard like anybody can do this just have to go with the right setup like i'm not i don't feel like i'm doing any i'm just aiming and shooting bro like we're just sitting in that corner playing it wrong not doing anything hard not doing anything special not doing anything unique he's not sitting in the damn oh the red though we're gonna res? Oh shit, hold on. They're shooting. <laughs> He's like, I'm shooting too. <laughs> Oh my god! Butterflies on my ear. Instead of sitting in a corner, not even being able to move, you can just be here chilling. An operation of this scale would require oversight. Their leader must be close. 
I've got his trail. He Triple GFX. What you find, Another day I've been racing with throwing. Never. I understand. Never. That never happens. A super even reach him. No. Ay, Dios mío, su madre hijo a la gran puta. Sorry, I don't have a Polaris to sit all the way back there like you guys, like the cool people. I'm gonna need it back now, you heard? Threw a grenade at my ass. Oh, there. Oh, shit, that's crazy. I'm shooting the floor. I'll hit him eventually. Oh, yeah, I already sent out. Wait, I already did. Hey, I already did damage with Polaris. Mm. Yeah, we'll just sit back here and try to do bot on the champion damage. My super doesn't reach. I don't think so. The next stun I'm supering. Well, that de <laughs> <laughs> definitely who I was aiming at the whole time. I think we gotta kill the ads. The ads won't let us play. We're like, no, you're not allowed to play. I didn't even know she does that. Boy, Carlise. I thought she was getting ready to do a Nova Bomb. No grenades up here. Guardian down. Guardian down. <laughs> laughing at your ass. What area I like to stand in? Mm. Gotta keep an eye for that. For the grenades we'll be throwing.
grenade crazy. New subscriber. Is that a real one? No, it's a gifted one. What happened to the alert? Look at that. Is that a real new subscriber? I thought it's bad that it's gifted. I appreciate the gifted subs, you know. But I thought it was just a new person subscribing because of the sound effect. Uh, heroic. Thank you for the gifted sub to Jay Nobody. Thank you, thank you. I'm on the verge of dying, dude, because of. Can I go into. No, I can't go into Weave Walker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, can I go into Weave Walker holding this thing? I already got him at half health. You guys are sweating. You have ogres in the middle. Thank you, heroic. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, something happened with the alerts. I think it was me too. I think it was me that did it. Somebody hit your crits. Supposed to be stunned, but he's shooting. Her placement. Oh, there's a butterfly. He doesn't want me. I don't know why. There's <laughs> a butterfly right there. Yeah, that's you guys. Polaris's don't die on me. Super girl. Oh, there it is. Bro, I know I'm gonna fall off. The I know it's gonna fall off. I know it's gonna. Cause I already jumped, but I needed to pop Wave Walker to, to heal, but my jump was gonna jump me off the map. <laughs> like, I was already jumping to jump, but like, I got so weak that I needed to pop Wave Walker. <laughs> no, bro, what are the chances? Oh no, bro. To pop Weave Walker, you need to jump and pop your ability. But I was already jumping to go, but I got weak. <laughs> but that jump was not good enough. You got it. This is why I say you need a Polaris on the team. Just because of this. Oh, wait, he's not going to be able to. He wasn't ready. He's not going to get it. No, oh, he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. You're not going to get it. No, we're going to orbit. We're going to. Oh, he's going to get hit. We're going to orbit. We're going to orbit.
Is that traveling or traveler? Um, that was an attempt. That's crazy. I agree. I mean, the other guys got two attempts. You guys get two attempts too. I guess, right? It's fair, right? It's the bare minimum. What can I change? I don't know. There's nothing I want to change. Yeah, there's nothing I want to change. Just gotta do better. Bro, that was that 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 timing was ridiculous. Like I had so much going through my head because you were at my spot. I went to go jump on my spot, but then I was like, bro, if I go up there and we both get killed, it would be a bad idea. But as I was ready to jump, you died and everything was started to focus me. So I wanted to pop Weed Walker, but it was my first initial jump. It wasn't my double jump. So like it was a weak jump. So I popped Weed Walker to save myself, but I know it was a weak jump. I wasn't going to like, you know, make it across. But I, I survived. Oh, my God, bro. It was just nothing but perfect fucking timing. Preliminary recon suggests the Lucent Hive are stockpiling. Man, this guy ain't killing kind of <laughs> you we were supposed to, like, like to I don't know, get a little closer before killing him. But I guess be now you know for next time. Leadership. I've seen this happen. Step. Time we caught up. Dag out there. And we threw it. And we threw it. Man, I thought I killed him. I thought the grenade would have killed him, bro. I really thought. Oh my god, I'm gonna. I just threw a grenade at him so I can activate Golden Tricorn times two. I was literally the go. I killed a little red bar and I threw a grenade at him. And I want to get 50% damage out of the heavy, but. Man, just looked at me. Like if I get a if I get a, um, a kill and then an ability kill, I get 50% bonus damage. So the goal is to get a kill, throw a grenade, and if it gets a kill, it's 50% damage. I didn't I didn't get a kill, so I just wasted a grenade there. It didn't do shit for me. I feel like I'm the only one shooting. I mean, I know he's invisible, but he could have shot and go invisible when he needs to. You know what I'm saying? Am I crazy? That's crazy. I can't believe we do one of those like that. We do one of those. Still not stopping. I'm ready to hit it. Let's go. Bro, he's teleporting. My, 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 my grenades didn't even go to him. Well, one of them did. Shit. 
Damn it. I didn't even have heavy ammo to be doing what I wanted to do. What the hell, bro? Why am I taking so much damage? That was a cover. Special ammo, something. Oh, that's bad. Oh, they killed him in one shot. Nice. Grenade kill him. Oh my god. I can never activate golden tricorn with teammates, dude. I needed that grenade to kill him, man. What a guy on 50% damage. Super. Damn, man. So many times, like, I need to kill a little guy and then an ability of a little guy. When that needs to happen, it's impossible. Probably went to orbit. Yeah, I ran my ass to orbit. <laughs> Fight the local I ran the my ass to orbit, bro. Not always your friend. I knew it was gonna the happen. I figured out a way to store our life, creating batteries to power their rituals. We need to shut this down now. No heavy now, so I gotta use my primary. It's a nice one. Primary is a nice one for sure. Sure, five finger. Hmm. Why are the orbs on them? Crazy, we went to orbit at the end. Their dream, no well. I'm running ahead of special.
don't know where I'm at right now. I had a special ammo that I was spamming. <laughs> Where'd he go? Butterfly again, your favorite. The guy is still alive, too. Got special ammo on him. We have special ammo. Grenade his ass. Can't believe we threw so bad. Yeah, I got this easy. Yo, who's gonna play on my account to get this supposedly new iron banner grenade launcher? Is it worth it? Is it good? Is it better than every grenade launcher in the game? Is it the only grenade launcher we should use till here till we're done destiny? I'm going back over here. I don't care. Diego, te veo en el Facebook. Hola, hola, señor Diego. Levántate. Buenos días. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Can I use your super? I use my super. Mm. Go up here. Careful with the grenades and the shields. You ready for ogres? Oh, ogre. So many ads. Oh, one of those wells again? These are my favorite. These are my favorite kind of wells. I'm not hitting nothing. Like I'm throwing them, but I see no numbers. Don't die, guest. 
Why is it a hit? What the hell? Being cooked. Wait, bro, what just happened? How did I die? How did he die at the same time? Why am I dead? Wait, what just happened to me? No, I'm, I'm definitely dead, man. Bro, what the fuck is happening? I hate this game. PS4 King I emoji Berserker, thank you for hanging out. We struggling today for sure, bro. It ain't an easy one. It ain't going smooth. Definitely gotta focus the champion together. That's one thing we're not doing. I forgot about him. I forget about his ass. Uh oh, we're going to orbit again. We're going to orbit again. We're going to orbit. We're going to orbit again. I just picked that one up Ninja noob. Thank you for dropping the prime. Thank you for the resub. What's up? What's up? Thank you for the support. Oh shit, there's a normal bob. No, bro, that's not fair. There's a normal bob already there That's done No I'm trying to get a res. Katie, oh my god, I should have fucking waited, bitch. Don't say guardian down again, bro. My hands are sweating. <laughs> Please don't say no more goddamn guardian down. Fuck! My hands are sweating, dog. I don't want to be solo. I don't want to be solo. I go to orbit when I'm the only one left. Bro, oh, did they? We can't go back here anymore with it. Every time I came back here, it has disappeared from my hand. Did they did they do something to this nightfall? Did 
There's an ogre to kill. Oh, there's an ogre to kill. But why am I doing this? Like, if it's gonna save me, I just got scared to be honest. God. Yeah, we're about to do it, chat. We're not going to orbit. Oh, okay. I'm. Of course, he would throw the grenade while I'm passing while I'm passing the pillar, so I don't see him throwing the grenade. I hate this guy. How many hours? How many hours? That's crazy. I've liked Stressful? What's the trap of I was having fun. I asked myself the I was laughing the whole time. Day of the dark ages. Why did the traveler resurrect bad? Let's go! Golden trike! What did you it should just ask. That the question was flawed. But good and evil, right and wrong. Those ideas are based on causality. I see the point. At least you were playing. At least you were playing. We did it. They patched their prod? For real? So they want it to be like that. Damn. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Uh, Mini Cloud, you still in here? You still trying to join? Trying to try? Or not? Nah, you done? You ain't trying this shit ever again. I want to try out the other one. I didn't patch it. It was. Bro, every time I went over there, I guess it disappeared from my hand. Like, well. Like it'll like drain way faster. Like it'll like I get to throw it like once. I didn't get to sit over there with it. Let's try to triple tap on slot. I don't think it's gonna be bad neither. It's gonna be decent. It's gonna be easier to activate than the golden tricorn. What does this do? Nah, I'm good. You sure? That don't look fun. They they don't look that great. What if I switch to Solar Warlock with the Polaris? Would you then? What if I came with a Solar Warlock? And my solar build and solar Polaris and I play like a in the back and I gave everybody wells. Would you? Would you play with us? Then? Reckless. Gracias, gracias. We stay winning. We stay trying. Is that what's going to take to get you back in here, bro? The solar warlock? I'll put it on. I'll stop messing around with Strand. With no strand burn. Good job, gas. No one wants to play with the potato. Damn. I bet your LFG does. Look. 
Look. Three, two, one. Bob Saget. Double prime. Actually, he doesn't have double primary. He has Big Daddy Super, though. He has the sidearm with permeability. He's going to make a solar. Oh, shit. His sidearm is going to be cracked, actually. I let you don't know better. Right, but Bob does. Bob knows better. That's why he joined. I'm actually scared. Tengo mucho miedo. Yo, y'all ready to hear this thing rip? With onslaught triple tap. That's how it's gonna shoot. It's gonna shoot like that. It's gonna make those exact effects too. Fazzy Habibi, alhamdulillah, it's going. It's going. Doing a prophecy after this, bro. I don't know how many GMs I can do with this one, man. We're going to take Bob to victory. Me and repent. He's already learned. Every, every life is precious, but nobody cares about mine, chat. <laughs> Young, I see you party people. Despite our best efforts, <clears throat> the Lucent Hive have stockpiled a significant amount of light. My scions cannot predict mm. the Hive's plan, only that it must be stopped. No arguments. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? It's going in. 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 Reload it. That's the only bad part. My other one reloads itself. I need to kill something. Who's shooting at me? I want to kill you. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Man, I really do miss the the not having to reload it. What the hell? Who reloads their fucking weapons, bro? That's crazy. Bro, that shit rips! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I didn't know it ripped that hard. Bro, come back. I'm trying to put some... some... Snipers may snipe me. Boy. how much super damage he does my super did nothing might as well not even use it to be honest The 
reload it. Oh, I have onslaught. I was the one that killed them. I have onslaught now. Let's go. People invisible before I get sniped. It feels cool. It's a new perk. Yes, all immune. My favorite kind of damage in Destiny, the immune damage. <laughs> Lee Walker for the win. He's like, how do you die? Both next to each other or something. Did that one? I went to the left, he missed, but then the one when I came back to the right, he directed him back. Did you saw shit? Look at that sidearm. <laughs> Look at that sidearm go. Only sidearm I ever liked in Destiny. And it's not even a sidearm, it's sh shooting rockets. They just call it a sidearm. Might as well call it pocket rocket or some shit. I don't know. It shoots rockets. Why is it a sidearm? A little mini rocket. The only sidearm I've ever used in D1 or D2. For the cabal, <laughs> being disarmed is more shameful than being killed in battle. Reckless, levántate, señorita. Baila, baila. Where's the emos with them dancing? Those things oh, you know, bailas. The day off today. Burn this place to the ground. Damage is pretty ass right now. Everything is still pretty much alive. This is only the first wave. We need the weakening back. Guardian down. Bob Saget is dead. We reload this thing. I might go ham now. I might kill something. Did it kill something and then unload? Is it? Just done. 
just on. Every time I'm ready to do something, nobody's there, bro. I swear. I need a stun there so I can unload the damage, but there was no fucking stun. Oh my god, it actually goes pretty nuts. <laughs> I didn't know Onslaught just like stacks more. I thought it just this is the first kill and that's it. It just starts to you know it starts to rip rip. Oh my god, there's no well. I don't know if this reaches. I tried. No, it doesn't. All them butterflies that came out from their shields. Waiting for that well, huh? That's super. I don't think it will yeah, dig with the money. Behind us. There's a crazy amount of enemies if I do say so myself. We're, we're sitting in a well and nobody's breaking that. <laughs> like I have my grenade launcher, I couldn't break it. Oh. Nice teleport, dude. You're gonna put it behind cover. Hey, have a class ability. We do it. We did it. So night wait where the hell are you at? Wait, 934 in the morning? Where the hell do you live? What the hell? 934 in the morning. What the hell? You definitely have a different what the hell? Are you in the UK or something? Let's hmm. locate their leadership and put an end to this heresy. Sevathun had all the time in the tower to plan. She was watching our every move. Party Even people, fastest growing chat on Twitch. Ten years in the making. We stay winning. What is that a strike? This is the Grand Master. It is a strike, but this is the you know the Grand Master version of it. So it's like ten times harder than a regular strike. Oh my god, thank god he didn't move. He would have moved, there would have gotten both of us. Please don't move, stay behind cover. Okay. Ready? 
We're going, we're going. What's dropping? Zoom in the snipper. This one. Oh, I might actually fall off a lot. Oh, I already deleted mine. <laughs> Now look, I throw my grenades and my class ability and my super that's gonna go into the shield. I should have done my super first. <laughs> Oi. Wait! Bro, that was for him! That was for him, right? That this was for him, but it hit the right the wall where he was, so it came to me, right? Bro, that's crazy. And there's a grenade. That's crazy. That wasn't even for me. I got robbed, like always, nothing new. Being, there's this being thrown at me and I have nothing to do with the fight Why am I hearing this I'm not even exposed Oh my god Sorry. I definitely recommend killing the, the ogre. Banksy! They caught me one shot peeking around the corner. One shot. Peeked and dead, and she's laughing at me too. That's crazy. We're gonna do this with LFG chat. Me mataron. Thank you. See you later, sir. So I try to kill the ads. The ads are crazy here too. These acolytes are they're no joke. Oh my god, the grenade, the void, the wizards. Oh my god. Let me see if I can go back here with it. Look, 16. Yeah, I can go back here with it. Why was it disappearing? A bug or something? Every time I grabbed it, I went up here. It was like dead. I mean, I know it drains, but like, there's something else that was happening. We got it. I'm scared. Try to get her aggro. Trying to get her aggro off of you. We got her aggro. Oh, but she got a Nova Bomb. Oh, shit. Sure, I gotta go. Whenever I said I didn't do nothing for y'all, I wanted to grab that. You still halfway. 
I'm behind cover. I'm behind cover. I'm not here. I'm not here. But, but chill. Chill, Rebecca. My name is Rebecca. I don't know why. She looks like a Rebecca to me. <laughs> Oh my Jesus. Like our hundredth spear. They're ready for a uh, ogre. Ogre is coming. What happens if I super from here to here? Not bad. I did something. Ooh. <laughs> that looks so scary. <laughs> that looked like it was gonna hit. That looks so scary. I'm going back over there. We got this chat, we're winners. We're the true wieners. Steel wings talking about they patched it, bro. What are you? What is wrong with you? I've been a liar. It's crazy, dog. Talking about I'm here. Every time I throw, I go to the right side. How? I got scared. No! Bro, it sucks when somebody's in front of you. You really can't see if it's coming. We're going to orbit. We're going to orbit. We're going to. Oh, no! Repent! Repent! Rapid! Rapid! No! Rapid! You motherfucker! But I didn't see the attack. He's in front of me. That's it for me. GG's repent. 
GG's bro. He literally walked in front of my line of sight and then it's like, you know, it's hard to see that attack by the time I like the attack hit it was too late. I was there first, I think. I think I was there first. I think I was. Where is this one? Um Is there a crota ready to go? Looking for five chill red board and know what to do. Raid room nine, raid room nine, repent, raid room nine, run, run, run. Raid room nine, repent, looking for five. You said you want a crow, I don't say, say nothing. Raid room nine. Oh, it's already full. Six out of six. Hey, I was looking for five at 357. It was three minutes ago and it's already full. I right, guess she was a girl. That's why. Name is Kara. Kara Pop. Kara, Kara Pop. But she, she was a dude, it would still be empty right now. But maybe it's a dude with a picture of a girl. How would they know? Lone is gaming. Fuck! Mackie, you seen that? You seen that, bro? Straight the orb. I think that's the third orbit today. Maybe fourth. For what? One GM? I'm about to join into a Kuroda if I can. I'm down to do another GM, but. Actually, I don't see a raid happening. Nobody posting right now. Not if you want to join. Hit the join code. I'm down to give it a try. That's why I hate that warlock jump. <laughs> it was funny. I mean, if you have the join code, just get ready to join. If you have the join code, get ready to join. There goes the join code. I just need the P2. There goes the join code. If you can, you know, use that to join, you're good. I'm out here trying to pay attention if there's a raid room to join, but there's, there's nothing. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna try now. I'm gonna put on my solar warlock to help the people, but it's boring, dude. It's bo where's my Don Churro? Don Churro is coming out. Warlock, look, you see what is it called? Read it, chat. What is it called? What is the build called? Look, look, it's called K. Como se llama el build? Se llama Don Churro. There's there's an R missing in there for sure. There's definitely double R's in Churro. There you go. Where did this have way? Don Churro. You click Don Churro. Right, right. And it brings the Don Churro helmet. It's called Don, Don Chores. Don Churro. And, and, and. Blinding. And, and Polaris. And. Solar and hey, welcome back, ladies. You guys came back as I pulled out the solar warlock. Is that what it is? I have to use the bathroom, though. <laughs> I have to go pee real quick. He's like, Solar warlock, I'm joining. Let me go pee real quick. Though. I'll be right back. I'll be quick. Yeah, I want to join. Well, alone, you're after this one because it took too long. These guys were supposed to join back two hours ago, but now they join back. They only get one attempt, so if they fail, you know, you're you're next. I'll be back, though. I gotta go pee. I'm running. I'm running. Couple commercials coming out. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chilling. We can get DDoS today. Let's go. At least, right? I join after this one. All right. Your spot for sure.
double primary arc. What the? What the? What the? You got off the solar and went to arc? Double pri Oh, no. Meal. Anyone's using the rest of the Oh shit. It should be right. No, 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 no. Don't tell me this. I'm never gonna get my well back if you're gonna be using two primaries to kill enemies in a GM. That's supposed to be killing. We gotta be killing and target their leadership guardian. I gotta sit all the way in the fucking back, bro. Don Churro, haciendo fuego. So here, I don't know. I don't know what do I do. Stand still, you don't have cover, Jelly Bean. The snipers will snipe you. I use the thing as cover. Yep. See? Crazy. I got stuck on a wall. I tried to jump backwards, but I couldn't because of this damn thing right here. I've never been here. Like, I was like, I'll jump back and use my grenade launcher, but I couldn't jump back. I needed to have a class ability, not whatever I have. I don't know why I have whatever I have. My well, I'm not gonna put it over here. Come give me my back. I guess he's dodging my grenade launcher, right? That's how he works against me. I guess. Jesus. Bro, what the hell is going on? Did he get updated or something? What is happening here? I need to use my uh, shield to use my heavy. There you go. I should make champions just drop ammo, bro. Like, at least something confirmed. Something. What's cure times two do? I don't even know. Pop 
those are the stuff that just popped up probably too early. We need to push the cart, that's why. You need to kill they need to get the kills in my well, right? Not gonna have been any fucking worse swell than that one. Wait, I just thought about it. I have done Churro on. Why do I still, why am I playing like if I have goddamn Polaris? <laughs> like I'm thinking that like my super's gonna be coming back fast and shit, but like I don't you know wrong build. That's the build I would like to be using for I guess to carry but put on them churro. Must they just be getting a bunch of solar kills. Hey, what do you mean? You was looking at my butt? That's crazy. Why are you saying yeah? Whose butt were you looking at? Hunter's butt? So delay. I keep forgetting I have this. I meant to have the classic one, man. Not that. I think this guy in front of me is against me. I don't think he's my teammate. I don't think he wants to see me win. He's out here catching all my shots, bro. Bro, he's supposed to be stunned. 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 the world four seconds in the world timer please let me kill this guy at least yo yeah i gotta go finish her she's gonna come back where we killed her no yeah i don't yeah i just wanted to kill her that's great You know, just because I switched the build doesn't promise the run. Boss is still boss. <laughs> the boss is still boss, man. She's a we motherfucker that game. The enemy of your enemy is not always your friend. I would love to stand where we said, but we can't go over there this because like um, storage depot. I don't have of weapons, where it comes back quickly. We just don't churro out here, setting shit on fire. I know it's mini cloud in me. I really wanna go back there? I'm just gonna take advantage of my super and I'll, I'll follow y'all lead, I promise. Okay. Fuck my super. I have blinding, so. like them they're taking lead i like that they're in charge chat if it, if it falls it's on them Oy. 
If it falls, it's all on them. We're here because of them. Super doesn't seem so bad right now to be honest. You're out here killing shit with it. I like that. I put in my well soon when there's stuff to kill. I mean, that doesn't really make a difference, I guess. Comes back based on me, really, not based on you. I hate when I need to ignite stuff and they just, they move so perfectly away from the headshots. Right there, he's about to ignite, he moved. I'm about to try to ignite any of them. Oh! My well! I got distracted by trying to get fucking headshots that keep moving at the perfect time! I hate them. Sorry. Thank you. I blindly I'll try to help you with that now. I'm a well. Well he can't be blinded, so we should have a no healing thing. Blinding for you. I'm blinded. You're not been there, huh, bro? Bro, look at her. Just crouch. That go prone. Why don't you just go fucking prone? The hell? Wait, y'all leaving? Y'all are leaving, bro. Y'all scared me, bro. <laughs> I'm a well, but I'm away for a better time. Mother flower. Where do you go? I know these guys can teleport. Here, you guys can have it. Oh my god. Put the timer in the well. Three set bro, I thought you were a wizard. I gotta move. You're welcome. Mosai no, never did anything for y'all. We're only alive right now because of me. These guys will be. Oi! Hit it with your bow. I dare you. I have a well. I'm trying to put it against the thing so it doesn't get destroyed. No special than you. Timer in the well. Eleven. Oi, motherfucker! You said surprise.
And we're doing it, chat. We're doing it. We're doing it well. She agreed. She said, yeah, yeah. Gotta put it in there. Doing better this run? I agree with these guys specific. Yeah. I mean, but again, the boss room is still the boss room, man. The leader must be close. And I've well, ain't trail. gonna save us in no damn boss room. Once you find him, the guardian well, it's not gonna to save us against this guy, that's for sure. I mean, I can play like a bitch, that's all, but... That's all I got. Who requested this? Your band? No, I'm joking. Chill. <laughs> Vibey. Oi! El desinueve. <coughs> Vergazos. Got the music on the Twitch. And I'm most musica. I'm cantando. Oh, he's singing. I'm just, just cursing. Well, according to you. <laughs> it's gonna have orbs. There you go. Fire! Fire! Everything is on fire! Hey, come back, asshole. Then got burned. Guardian down. boring for me like as much as the, i know this is easy i know this is a build i know you could just chill back here like after the first turn i'm already like i don't want to keep doing this like this <laughs> other plays are risky crazy i mean this part is still you know not perfect but laris will still help clear out a lot do a lot they'll kill the ogre unstoppable Grab on. 
Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what the fuck are the chances? That was a nice run too. Bro, what the f you guys they don't want you to win at this point. Let me switch to the other solar one so I can actually get the wells back faster. I have the other other solar, where is it? What did I call it? I don't know what the fuck I called it that one. This one. That's crazy. Bad what? Bad who? Bad, bad warlock? Is that what you're trying to spell? Cause you're spelling, I don't know, or something else. <laughs> oh my god, uh, stockpiled a significant amount. This wasn't even my jump. I went to go do something. I went to wake up the spear, but as I was landing, I landed on somebody that was being Nova bombed. And they flew me off. <laughs> like the Nova bomb wasn't even for me. It wasn't even intended for me, man. Oh, I got my class ability this time too. The, the bomb was for somebody else. <laughs> but I was just, I just happened to land at the exact same place. Wow, a shitty grenade out of ignition. Whatever it's called, fusion. No, we need launcher. No, I thought I was in cover. That's crazy, dude. I thought I was walking with it, but I guess like, mm, that sucks. Yo, my chicken, what's going on? I gotta back up. We lost her. We lost her normal spot. We lost our usual play. Snipers are on the loose. I 
have more snipers gonna come out because yeah we need to keep pushing the car no this is horrible this is why I pushed the car like now that the car is no oh, the car is stuck keep sending out snipers we need to keep pushing the car how many you don't even see these snipers Oh no, there's more snipers. Yo, somebody get on the car, please. It should be me with my super, right? I'm going. I'm going. Kill stuff, please. I already have my super back. So the rest is on me, huh? We'll try to do damage while we can. One second left. We have a class ability now. That's crazy. But who's even sniping me if they're on top left? Who snipe? Oh, they're still up there. Who the? Bro, who just shot at me? <laughs> hey, hey, I think it was the captain from all the way at the bottom. Yo, I'm coming. I got my super. take one of those in the well and I walked away like I even lost my res from how far I walked away oh man I don't know that's crazy like not only did it get triggered way from where I started the res but I even walked away in the well interesting gameplay I mean, after we lost the, after I died from pushing that cart, from there everything went to shit. Thing is, we have to push the cart. The ads are unlimited. The snipers gonna keep coming. The enemies gonna. If we don't push the cart, it's just no bueno. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> stockpiled a significant amount man, of sweet potato My today, man. GM is too hard. That it must be stopped. No GM is here. too hard, Let's ladies. GM ridiculously hard. I missed. Sniper. Snipers are on left, so I'm gonna try to play the right side. Blind in. Nice little grenade. Another little blind. We're still pushing the cart. I don't know. I'm still pushing the cart. 
I'm alive for now. No, that's not good. Because then what? I'm gonna die right after. Yeah, I'm gonna die right after. I'm the only one with everything on me. How are you guys? Like, you guys gotta push with the carts. So that's our only cover this second that you guys. Our cover's moving. All right, my least favorite GM. Hmm. I mean, we're trying to do it with these guys. They want to do it, but I think they should be separate. But still, I, mean, I don't know. Yo, chill. Anyway, I was reading the beginning of your message. Chill, 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 chill. That's crazy. Yo, sloth, what's going on? Cabal Intel suggests that the Cosmodrome has become a light storage facility for the Lucent Hive. They're creating <laughs> light batteries? What for? Let's hope we never find out. Get down there and target their leadership guardian. The thing is, I was also blinding in front of us, so like, if I was just gonna push together, like the ads in front of us wasn't really doing. Because if they were doing damage, I would have been dead. They were not doing damage. The ads that were on me were just, you know, around me, but they were not doing damage. And I can't promise you that every single time. Let me blind this guy for you so you don't die. It wasn't bothering me, it was bothering you, so I just kept on shooting. Oh, but nobody's in. Oh my god, I'm trying to blind for you now. Nobody's <laughs> Good luck, chat. Which side is it gonna be on? Please be on the left side. Please be on the left side. Oh no, it's on the right side. I don't know how to really play this side too much. I don't know which one is easier. No, I gotta. Guardian down. See, nobody's with me. Nobody's with me. Where are you guys? Like, why are you not on the thing? Why are you not riding? Like, kind of riding the car. <laughs> oh. Be careful. I don't know where the snipers are. Man, they caught you back here. No, oh, they don't want you. One sounds low. I'll turn up the music. I was supposed to do that while my heavy app was out. Oh, my melee was supposed to ignite. I guess most of them didn't hit. I'll reload it, whatever.
should have been blinded. No, I should have been blinded and I should have kept moving with the cart. Bro, like, I also start falling asleep, you know, doing the same shit over and over again, not really progressing. <laughs> Boom, motherfucker, I think he took himself out. <laughs> ah, I think that was the dynamite. I heard kaboom, guardian down. Yeah, I don't have no more special. I can't help you, dude. I can't blind for you. Good luck. It's gonna go kaboom in your butt. Oh, gonna go kaboom in my face. Come back, pussy. <laughs> We're going through it, chat. Oh, sh no. Well, he just keeps shooting. Like, he just doesn't give a fuck that I'm standing there. Fuck your teammate, dog. Just pop all of them, right? Damn, dog. is bogged and he continues to shoot even after being stunned oh please get stunned yeah i think somebody would have crossed i mean crossed my boat Oh, you guys no you guys weren't supposed to go on top that's why you guys don't go on top yeah you never go on top because there's unlimited ads now they never die we have to reset it because like those ads now they never stop spawning and they're like really strong Like you can get up there before we get to that area, but like once the cart gets to that area, you can't go on top. Massacre. That's exactly what's happening to us. I and mean, that's exactly what I could do to a McChicken. But right now, if anybody's getting massacred, it's us. Us as a team, as a squad, as a team enraged. Crystal Lee, wakey wakey, hands off snakey. We're winning, we're winning. Or at least trying to. We're trying our best, okay guys. I switched three I switched three builds already. No arguments here. 
Let's bring him Links, down. don't fall asleep, bro. Don't fall asleep, man. Come on. No sleep time. This is the one. Believe in us, dog. We need people like you to believe in us so we can win. Look at this mother flower hiding. I don't know this, this part seems like it's 50 50 with this team I can't promise you guys that I'm gonna be able to see where is it it's on left side no, it's on right side. Oh, no. Alright, they're blinded. Try to kill as many as we can. Blind again, so those guys don't kill us. Trying to kill as many as I can. Blind again. The snipers are coming from the other side now. That means we gotta switch sides, right? Look at me being like a genius of some sort. That's it. Now this guy spawns and we can back up. Oh, no, please don't snipe me, sniper, don't sniper. Now it chills out for a little bit. Night? He was about to. Hey, man, I need to make a new kill. What I got my super. Super, at least half of it. Fuck it, take the heavy ammo. That's normal, I guess. these moves he's doing on me bro it's crazy of course I ain't got damn MLG Grandmaster it's not, a, it's not your normal Grandmaster the Grandmaster on crack My teammate shot it. My teammate shot the explosive thing. My like, why are you gonna snipe? The thing didn't fully get the cover. I report from here, my teammate. Report for griefing, report for sabotaging. Oh, we're going to orbit. Let's see, getting sniped. Oh, you got lucky. Oh, you get his. Oh, he's not gonna, bro. You gotta. We need to switch the team, at least play separate, maybe. Maybe one and somebody else, and then Mini Cod, and then somebody else, and then Jelly Bean, and then somebody else. I don't know. This team is together, no bueno. All right, we have Mini Cloud. Jay, somebody said they wanted to come help. What time is it actually? Hold up. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I have, yeah, I have. Why are you in the corner? Who, me? I'm pushing the cart. 
You talking about me? Why am I in the corner? I don't know who you, if, who's in the corner. I'm pushing the cart. I got sniped from left side, so I got closer to the cart. But that somebody shot the skanks. The ones that I weakened. I weakened most of them, and then I got sniped from left, so I got really close to the cart to get more cover. And as I got close to the cart, somebody shot the skanks, and that killed me. Second time, you die in that corner. My teammates kill me. <laughs> That's my cover. I'm pushing the car. The thing is, the reason they're snipers is because we're slow. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I know you guys don't know exactly how it works, but like the reason they're snipers is because we're not pushing the cart. All snipers disappear if the carts keep getting pushed. The second we slow down for one bit, that's why they're there. That's my. I've been saying the beginning is to push the cart, push the cart, push the cart. Don't let the cart like. There's even a cheese where you just get an invisible hunter and you just sit in the cart and push the cart. The goal is to push the cart. Unlimited ads, unlimited snipers, unlimited is just the goal is to push the cart. What are your main emotes? I mean, I don't know them by name. No, nobody wants to try. I'll try with LG. Yeah, bro, this is the best build to try to help people. I don't know. Wait, did I just... Bro, I'm an idiot. I gotta take a look at the door a bit. David, um... First of all, when you say emotes... I want like my Twitch emotes? Are you talking about, like, my, uh... My like in game emotes, like the ones like I dance with, or like like these emotes. I'm I was confused. Suggest the Lucent Hive are stockpiling guardian light for starting two men, it'll be easier. We'll destroy this stored light if we can. Yeah, I still want to play my to be honest, I still want to play. Still want to play this. There you go. Mm. I'm still want to play this. This is more secure for me. <laughs> I'm trying to like give people well that that are not taking advantage of the well. Baila, reckless, baila. Bro, I think the world record is like eight minutes. Just like any other GM. People just don't know how to do it. People understood the goal and just did the goal. You know, it'll be easier, but people just don't know. I mean, there's again a cheese where I'm not really a cheese. You just go, you know, money cloud. You got already up. See what we got over here. There's better or worse. Actually, not bad. Got a good build. Got a Polaris. You got ice to freeze everything. Actually, a good addition to the team. Actually, I switch. I'm not a solar. I'm not a solar anymore. Try not to get all in your feelings. You heard. Reckless on the kick también bailando allá, mira eso. Mini Cloud, you gotta get ready. Get ready in your roster. I gotta go to roster.
Oh, he just joined us. He didn't wait till you get ready, right? Let me see. Yeah, he just joined us. He's like, fuck waiting for your ass. That's crazy. Is he the same one or somebody else joined us? No, that's him. Should be able to cancel. Nothing should happen. You say that I ain't trying to wait. All right. Preliminary recon suggests the Lucent Hive are stockpiling Guardian Light for some kind of ritual. We'll destroy their stored light if we can. But our primary objective must be removing mm, Hive mm, leadership. Mm, 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 mm. They've been ahead of us at every step. Time we caught up. Oh, I do have one in charge one times too. Wait, right, did they really activate? Are you switching builds? Like it's confusing. Guys, that's a good addition to the team. Snipers on right side. Watch out, but they're on right side. So you gotta go on left. Down. Hey, what the hell is hitting me? I was getting destroyed. How is he alive at this point? You got it. I believe in you. I'm gonna go and revive him. Or it's gonna say guardian down in two seconds. I gotta back up on my classic, I mean my bellies. a green ball I can't get back my melee until I throw a green ball at something shot for anti bear I need the ammo oh, I did it for the ammo I did it for the ammo <coughs> those eyeballs on me yo did, are you an invisible hunter no wonder you're surviving did you switch how the fuck is man alive and I'm barely surviving? He's already the guardian down. <laughs> is he an invisible hunter? Mother flower, I just noticed. Is he? Yeah, they didn't hit nobody. That's so sad. I want to pick up this orb on my way out. Unraveling rounds. Who the hell?
No, bro. What? Bro. What? What just, what just happened? That doesn't even make sense. Did I go on top? I didn't want to go on top to spawn the enemies. I try not to, I try to do whatever not to go on top. Bro, why did I get launched like that? Resident doesn't want me to win or doesn't want us to win. <laughs> I don't know what I recorded. I did I, I don't know what clip it is. Damn it, dude. I can't do nothing right now. I feel like his ice is not really icing. His ice is not really icing, you know? Everything is still walking around and, and you know, eating us. His ice is not icing. Tell report to massive energy spikes so ahead. Ahead. That must there you be go. I'm supposed to be covering. <laughs> Look at the camera, man. I Those exposed. things are filled with the light of our dead fire teams. Burn this place to the ground. Is he gonna play back? There? Oh, bro, mini cloud. I don't recommend it. We don't have a well. We don't. We don't have a well. I don't think we can. I mean, you're an invisible hunter. You can try, I guess. Oh my god, am I in Weave Walk or am I not in Weave Walk? <laughs> oh my god, the ogre is right there! What the hell? You know when he doesn't come out out here? You he wanted me. What the pee pee? Big ass ogre. But I did it so fast they didn't even put me in Weave Walker, but I was in Weave Walker. Hey, pendeja. Si, el cuajalo. Wait, I don't know what happened. She didn't catch it. She dodged it, I think.
But our ice is horrible. How are you alive? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Throw his grenade. Let me get out of here. I'm leaving. That's crazy, bro. My carry class is my strength class over the solar warlock. Not a carry class, but like, hmm. when I know how to play best with and more comfortable with, I guess. coming back to me go kill stuff the hell i just see my threadlings come back through the door like what do you mean go kill some shit <laughs> what, you, what you have the extended perk where you go further and you coming back to me better go do some work Of course you're gonna dodge it. Edge of my seat. Oh yeah. Too excited. Too excited. I mean, so, so much excitement from this gameplay. It's insane. We're doing it. Hoping for a stun soon, but I don't know. Guardian down. Sorry, my super's not that great for damage. to go see you later Where is he? Jack Yellow? Oh, he just died. I couldn't even see him. He was right in front of me. 
Okay, I need to get my glasses. No way, somebody has an entire barrier other than me. Special ammo. I mean, it's working. But we still got boss room, so yeah. There are more of those light batteries up ahead. Maze, did you get to finish it? I don't know because you say you don't know but like what happened did you get to finish the raid what happened with this raid and which raid out of all the raids i never use the actual in-game lfg for uh, uh raids i only use it for gms the only really important thing about gms is to bring the stuns other than that like everything is Pretty. I'm dead. Oh my god, I dodged it, dude. I ain't dodging. Oh! I came to super. I came to super. That guy is insane. <laughs> he gave up, bro. Mini Cloud tried, bro. <laughs> bro, you gotta play with me and Jay or something, Mini Cloud. If you notice, that was much easier with a better teammate. But we gotta, you gotta play with me and Jay or me and I don't know. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say trust because you can't trust trust. But like me and Jay at least. That's crazy. And the thing is, bro, like I said, a lot of you guys like to join with a third that's not the greatest. And you guys struggle like that. I should say something. We'll say after the first run, because I don't think you guys notice, but I notice. You guys don't notice, but I notice. Yeah, we're cruising. Yeah, the second time was, I mean, right there, that was much easier and... He had the stuns, he had the he had the turrets, some you know, a little bit of crowd control. It was it was definitely smoother. Definitely could be much easier with maybe J or something. Or or guess, guess two. Guess is alright. I seen him play two. Man, that sucks, bro. I know you tried though. You tried. He didn't give it a go. Bro, he's evil, that guy. The guy with the the guy with the shield, you can't you can't mess around. And all three of us were there, of course. That's what you call messing around. That is the definition of messing around. But listen, you hit him with a super, correct? You hit him with the weakening super. What am I supposed to do with my super if you just hit him with a super that weakens him? I'm supposed to go use my super. I don't know what the fuck he was doing or you was still you still was doing there, but my name was called. They were like, yo. He's weak. Shit on him. And I had a swooper. I was like, I'm going to go shit on him. I mean, I would love to do another one hash ring, but I don't have time, bro. I really don't have time. My fasting starts around 6, 6, oh, 6 10 now. 6, 6 10 in the morning. That's when sunrise happens. And I get a little bit of time to cook me some eggs, boil me some eggs. And that's it, man. Time is up. That's crazy, bro. We struggled today for real. Too bad. What's to, what's tomorrow? Is it a Titan Day? Titan Day tomorrow? I 
I should have bring Titan out. Definitely should be Hunter Day tomorrow. Look at Bobby me. Wait, what? You got ice? Who's this? This is not you. Bro, what do you mean? This is not you. Joy, this is not you, bro. I thought your name was Guess. What do you mean? Who's Guess? G U E S S. No? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Who the fuck? If this is you, then who the fuck is Guess? Hey, look at you. So who the fuck is guess? Is that not you? It happens, Mini Cloud. It happens, bro. It happens. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, you you don't you're not a hundred experience with how the enemies work and how they attack and the shields and and what could happen and what can't happen. And he's on the same boat, like. Guys haven't done it enough to fully understand the enemy's attacks. The, like, what could possibly happen? What can you survive? What can't you survive? Um, so having you guys together like that, and also me, also not playing like as safe as possible, because I like to play. You know, I like to play aggressive. I like to. You know, I'm not here to do carries. I'm here to play my run too. There's definitely different equipment, different builds, different setups to do carries, and that's that's not what I do. I don't do service streams. I don't. I don't have the proper builds to solo shit. Like I don't, I don't do none of that. Like I'm shit to chill, get some loot, and have a good time. That's really it. So you're not guess? Then who's guess? I swear you told me you're guess. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Good time to be confused. Guess we never know. Guess is my all. Listen, you can't play with your all and your account at the same time because Guess played with us. And I swear, Guess was saying that he was, or just, I don't know, bro. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the stream. I'm gonna go boil me some goddamn huevitos. Gonna go boil me some eggs. Appreciate the interaction. Thank you for the chat. Thank you for the hanging out. Thank you for the playing. Sorry for the L's. We took a lot of them tonight. But I had a good time. I had some clips. We made some clips of some fails. Definitely have some clips for the fail Taj, for the fail montage, for the fail moments. We definitely have to have everything uploaded before the ninth, because then everything becomes old. Everybody's gonna be worried about like the new content and the wave stuff and whatever and So definitely got a you know, I got something out of it. It was definitely a bunch of fails <laughs> Mini cloud will try tomorrow bro. Just come around and hopefully Jay is around or somebody like uh, maybe joy Actually, then I don't know. I, I don't know how you play if this is you Because I thought you was guess and I'm basing you off of guess. So if I haven't played with you, then then I don't know how the fuck you play. I don't know if I can rely on you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. I have a wonderful night, wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon. Later, YouTube. Later, TikTok. Later, Facebook. Later, anybody lurking. We out of here. Let me see if I can raid somebody, host somebody, send the millions and millions to somebody else.
at the biggest stream on Twitch, bro. Rouse. <laughs> biggest stream on Twitch. Port of Miami, you heard? You got to push it to the limit, chat. We're sending you the reckless. Miami in the house. Rick Rouse, the biggest boss. I got to go push it, chat. Later, Johnny Walker. Thank you for hanging out, bro. Thank you for spending time here. Kyle, for real. Later. Joey, good night. Johnny, take it easy. Crystal Lee, thank you for hanging out. Have yourself a wonderful night. Mini Cloud, later. The millions. We're growing, chat. We're getting bigger and bigger by the day. Look at us, bro. 10 years in the making. Everybody wanted to be like us, chat. Remember that? Go on, places. Hey, asshole, stop fucking around. Click it. Hey, you, stop. I'm banning you. Yeah, you, stop. 77. Getting banned. Why are you scared? Why are you stop? <laughs> ah! I can't see the names. I don't know who it is. Got scared. Fresh boy later. Adios. Hey, stop it. 81. Get back in there. You're going to get banned. You got 10 seconds. Got five seconds. <laughs>